right. All right, it's working. My mic is... Sound okay? <sighs> Almost ready to go. There we are. Hi, how you doing? Good to see you. I ran. I had to run all the way upstairs and then back downstairs while I was doing stuff so I could do some. How are you? It's not important. I'm here. You're here. This is this is happening digitally. Some people are watching this. The weird part is watching in the, this later, not live. Which hi, um, and thank you, <laughs> and uh, thanks for the super thanks, which is the version of super chat that isn't when you're live. It's the same thing. It's right down there. If you want to help out, hello. Um, they're watching this later, and it's weird that I'm not out of breath. When they're watching it, because it'll be later. It's interesting. It's just interesting to me, you know. Uh, <laughs> hi. I'm oh, sorry. Hello, chat room. Sorry. Let's uh, let me include you in the silliness. Uh, please fix the 720. We don't have 720. I think we should be going by 1080. That's why I'm going out to restream. It might be your internet. I don't think so. It shouldn't be. We should be going out at least, at least at 1080p. 1080p. Um, yeah, pretty, 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 pretty sure. Pretty sure. I think that's possible. Hold on. Let me, let me check the filter and see if, um, does this sharpen things up? Hi. Um, is my... Can you at least see my skin tone now? At all? Is this helping? <sighs> it's aggravating. I wish it just... Sometimes just... You know what? I'll just go back to the regular camera. <clears throat> much better. Much better. Um, sorry, this is a little less high res than that, but... We'll see. It goes a little bit better. <laughs> um yeah it's very weird um we got a lot of a lot of show today too many clips it is uh whew, i just gotta say there's a lot of a lot of crazy shit happening <laughs> first of all let's let's take a look at some chat room this is donald trump's little shoe thing we've seen the little clip of it this is apparently quote the full speech at sneaker con now i i think when, before Trump came to this fucking thing, it uh, it pr probably meant convention. But once he showed up, obviously, it it changed what kind of con <clears throat> it was. Now, uh, now, and I also know that like you're like this. It's a little weird having two shoes on the podium. It's almost as if he's, you know, afraid of having a George Bush moment where somebody chucks a shoe at him and then he's going to shoot, throw it back. Anyways, time is a flat circle. All right, all right, all right. Here he is. It's, uh, it's the full speech. It's seven minutes and 49 seconds. Beautiful. Is this thing, I hope this includes the crazy lady. Oh, wait, before I go, it, please. Oh, God, I hope it does. Did you guys see the crazy lady? I only saw a piece of what she did, too. I haven't seen this whole thing. Let me know if you've seen uh, a crazy lady. If you know what I'm talking about. You're like, well, there's all kinds of crazy ladies in here. Wes is a crazy lady. There's all kinds. I mean, we've got um, enough of them. All right. We'll see. Here we go. <laughs> um, this, is, this is it. Okay, wish me luck. Next to you, next oh, God damn it. Even it. It's not like a hip hop version yeah of this you killed lee greenwood you bastards all right um oh come on man burp burga at wow huh play the music a little louder 
Okay, the music is playing really loud. So I don't know that he... Are people laughing? From the lakes of Minnesota. Did they just cut it loose? Here's the shoes, I just walk around like an asshole. Stand by the boxes. Jesus Christ, like a fucking Walmart greeter. Huh? You, what do you think? The shoes or whatever? Somewhere Gene Simmons is like, and people think I'm an asshole? At least I have a fucking band. <laughs> oh, uh, stay tuned for the to the end of this one because I have a special shoe-related fa uh, famous person shoe that I will show at the end of this that I actually give a fuck about. Uh, okay, sneaker heads love Trump. Yeah, they're passing out fucking signs. Yeah, pre you could tell they they made it themselves. Isn't Sneakerheads the company? It is. Sneakerheads is the company that made the Trump shoe. And he throws it out there, who gives a shit, and the songs, I don't know if they're... Huh, what is this shoe? God damn, he's still... He just... Waiting for the fucking song. I gotta say, this is embarrassing when it's his own stage. This is really bad. Oh, and this is how they ended up up there? Holy shit. I thought, I gotta say, I, I thought this fuckhead, I thought this fuckhead, um, like, came up there and the shoes, I didn't really pay attention. I thought the shoes were up there already. That's his design. Please tell me they're on the right side. Oh, shut up. Okay, yeah, at least he just splits them the way they're supposed to. Much. This is a big crowd, you know? Hello, everybody. So, thank you very much. And we have a few young ladies that are up here crying. Look at you with the Trump 2024. Thank you, darling. I love you, too. Wow. That's the lady, by the way, who's fucking bananas. A lot of She's not actually fucking a banana right now. It's not important. Emotion. There's a lot of emotion in this room. Thank you. Thank you. So nice. So the really nice thing is we have lines, and I want to thank Chase, and I want to thank Alan, but we have lines going all around the block. They're going all around this block. They've never seen anything like this one. I just want to tell you. Okay, first of all, fuck off. The the shoe, like uh, like sneaker con and all this, like the, the high-end shoe limited edition thing, there's always a fucking line. Most of the people, it's like scalpers. Most of the people who buy these fucking things, the Yeezy limited edition and fucking uh, P. Diddle and whoever the fuck's putting shoes out and, and anything but an Air Jordan, everybody's like, oh yeah, these won't last. And so they get them as, as kind of like, yeah, I got a set of those in the closet. Isn't that hilarious? Look at that. But they don't wear them. Get the fuck out of here. There's always a line for those things. This is like, this is pitiful. You know, I've wanted to do this for a long time. I have... No, he hasn't. Get the shut up. It, it, yeah, you ground on this all the time. Like, yeah, you know, I uh, managed to squeak by Hillary Clinton and become president, and then lose it. But all during these times when I was getting a, a you know, a, a medically questionable proctological exam from Vladimir Putin, or I was kissing the taint of Kim Jong Un, what was really eating up my brain pan is one day I wanted a limited edition knockoff gold gaudy bullshit shoe that looks like some reject from the whiz. Some incredible people that work with me on things and they... Don and Eric, mostly Don. Came up with this and this is something I've been talking about for 12 years, 13 years. And I think it's going to be a big success. Your influences have been very positive. They've been real influences. And your influencers, the paid people that do shoe on the end, they do shoe. I've heard that some of them shoe uh, on YouTube. They should call it shoe tube. I said that. I made that up uh, mainly because I can't. The word. The actual channel name won't go into my head. All I can think is ShoeTube now. Uh, if only I could think of the oranges 
of where the word shoe tube came from, I could actually, but your influencers have been very influencing of the, they've influenced a lot of you to boo the living fuck out of me. They love it and they love what we've done. Do they? What, what do they like? The, uh, the kind of standard design and just the fucked up gold and this American flag desecration? That's the real deal. That's the real deal. Yes, it's the my pillow of shoes. And we appreciate it. We really appreciate it more than Yeah, we so appreciate it. We appreciate it because this is something it's a it's a boy's dream come true. It's a I was watching uh Silver Spoons and I decided when I was a guy I needed a line of shoes. God damn, this is so <laughs> Anything else, I appreciate the turnout. The turnout. Because they say they've never had a turnout like this. Yeah, well, there's a line around the block to boo you. <laughs> We've never had so many people who don't like the person selling the shoe want to go in the room. <laughs> they waited all day to give you the finger. And we're going to do things that are uh, terrific. And you know... Uh... <laughs> We're going to do things that are uh, terrific, you know. I mean, the man is a born salesman. It's very important. What's the most important thing? To go out and vote, right? We have to go out and vote. We got to get young people out to vote. <laughs> That's why I'm here at this stupid fucking thing. Eric. 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 Fucking Eric brought me in here. What, Dad? Uh, Don said it would be a great idea. <laughs> and you're going to vote, and we're going to turn this thing around. This country's not doing so well. We're going to turn this country around. This country's not doing so well. I mean, it's doing well enough where some asshole can sell gold shoes for 400 bucks, and other people will buy them on eBay for seven grand. But other than that, it's doing terribly. It, I gotta say, if your country is going to hell, if it's in hell, if it's on the precipice of the brink of World War hell, why, why, why would you take time to make gold, gold, gold shoes? Oh, you know what? I'm jumping the gun. At some point, I'm sure he's going to announce that for every pair they sell, they're going to give a free pair to a homeless maggot who lost their house because they can't pay their fines after they attacked the Capitol on January 6th and some asshole didn't back them up and pay. Fast. We're going to turn it around fast. We're going to turn it around fast. We could turn around in these shoes because these are basketball Shoes with the little, they've got soul on them, and soul, people hear, I hear people say soul. And we're going to remember the young people, and... <laughs> we're going to remember the young people. <laughs> you mean, the, the, I mean, these folks are, or the people you think are these folks, or the... The inf people these folks are going to influence. We're going <laughs> to... Fuck off, Neil. We're gonna yeah, guys. They always forget about us. I remember Sneaker Con. You know that. We're I'll always remember where I was booed by a room that was incredibly small and yet bigger than some of my rallies lately. Ouch. We're going to remember the young people. <laughs> Listen to that. Hold on. All right, I uh, uh, listen to this run of sentences here. Oh, sorry. I did it again. Why does that always happen? I don't know, but it's uh, something we can work on. All right, um, here we go. Check, check this out real quick. One, two, three. This, hold on. We're going to remember the young people. We're going to remember to voting, and we're going to remember Sneaker God. And you know, uh, it's very important. What's the most important thing? To go out and vote, right? We have to go out and vote. We got to get young people out to vote. 
And you're going to vote, and we're going to turn this thing around. This country's not doing so well. We're going to turn this country around fast. We're going to turn it around fast. And we're going to remember the young people, and we're going to remember Sneaker Con. You know that. We're going to remember the young people. The young What? People, especially that wear sneakers, right? Yeah, yeah, especially the young people that wear sneakers. <laughs> What about the ones who wear dungarees? Um, fucking hippies. <laughs> We're going to remember the young people, especially the young people that wear $400 gold sneakers. <laughs> oh my God, this is terrible. Listen to that. Listen again. Listen to that run again. This whole shit. We're going to turn this thing around. This country's not doing so well. We're going to turn this country around fast. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn it around fast. And we're going to remember the young people. And we're going to remember Sneaker Con. You know that. We're going to remember the young people. The young people especially that wear sneakers, right? But I want to... I just... <laughs> but anyway, gang. Especially the young people. You know, this song goes out to them. Uh, it's an oldie but a goodie, but the young people seem to like it. When the shark bites. With, you don't know this one? You, you, when your grandparents were kids that wore sneakers, they loved it. With his teeth wet, and it keeps them pearly white, not gold like these shoes. All right. I just want to thank everybody. This has been a lot of fun. We're going up to Michigan. Right after this, I go to Michigan. We make a big speech in front of a lot of people. I won't be talking about... Sme I, I'll be talking about a slightly different subject than sneakers. Than sneakers? But, but you know what? What? It's all part of Americana. It's it is. It's Americana, really, if you think about it. That's what... If you're going to define... Sh you know... Uh, <laughs> America really is... It's uh, mom... Smeakers and Apple Dumpling Gang. Uh, no, it's uh, MILFs, Smeakers, <laughs> and uh, McDonald's Apple Pie, but only after you finished your three fish delights. It's all part of our country. And what's happened with all of the people in this room, and I know how seriously you take it, it's amazing. It's it is. It, you guys, I'll appeal to the crowd. I'm losing them. I'm losing them. I, I'll appeal. I'll win them over. Watch this. You guys like shoes, right? Huh? Huh? That's my good. Ow. <laughs> Who throws a boot at a sneaker con? It's amazing. So I just want to thank you very much for being here. It's an honor. It's an honor. You're all sneakerheads. I, I have to say, I I wish there was like a reverse shot of all the maggots in the crowd who showed up to try and, you know, show their support for him and that are all wearing their shoes on their head. Your sneaker heads, right? Right, yeah. Or that's the company that did, I don't know, I just signed the paper. Does everybody in the room consider themselves a sneaker head? I think so, huh? Nah, the kids with the thing. You guys, that's what you call yourselves. You know, the black ones anyways, right? The black ones, yeah, you know, they talk in a different way than, you know, normal people, right, Eric? You putz. <laughs> what I do, Dad? God, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help. You've, you've made all the old voters go away, and now I, I'm trying to, God, I'm trying to get uh, new voters. We've lost every woman. What do you want me to do? Fuck. We've lost every woman in the country and the only $4 million I've ever made. Fuck you. Dad. Shit. <laughs> we got to get her up. Oh, here she comes. He may be losing the crowd, but there's one lady, one 
special lady. When you're with me and crying, give me all oh, 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 your love. Your hair is a little fucking crazy. Now get up here and save me from sneaker heads. You're my Sorry, okay, I had to finish the line. You can't not finish the line, okay? You can't not finish the line. Get her up. Can you get her up here? Get her up here. Yeah, so if, if the booing continues, I can say at the Michigan rally... Those awful sneakerheads were booing that poor woman. They're gonna boo that poor woman. <laughs> Get her up here. You wanna come up? Come on up. Just such emotion, such beautiful. Come on up. Come on up. You're the next contestant. On the derp is right. Look at this young lady. Let's go. Get her up here. Look at this woman. She's so great. She's wonderful, you know, and I can barely talk to her over all the people that are booing. Because I don't know if you know this, the White House is about 800 miles behind me and they're booing at Joe Biden past me. I think she's more of a political person than a sneaker person, but whatever. Come on up. I don't know. We'll have to get a look at her feet, obviously. Wow. Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, careful, lady. He'll grab you by the sneakers. God bless you. My kids need you. And this is the moment where he's like, oh, oh, did her abortion not take? I should have never given Elliot Brody the, the business credit card. Sometimes it doesn't go through. <laughs> You're a crazy person. Bless your heart. What? He's a good Christian. Oh, boy. He's a good Christian. Not a great Christian, you know. I would argue he's not a, not a Christian, but even not even above average. Ask him, you know what? You're right. Who am I to say? Who am I to judge? He's a good Christian. Ask him. Quiz him on the Bible. We'll all wait. Just go ahead. Ask him. Yeah, just ballpark. It's his favorite Bible verse. I mean, normally he doesn't like to say, but you're a believer, so he'll tell you. No, I think honest. You're honest. Tell everybody that. Tell everybody I'm honest. Tell Angeron. I'm honest. Say it. And Dad, Fonny, 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 tell Fon, tell, she's going to tell you, nobody believes me, you fucking. <laughs> yes, we need him, he's a Christian, he's a. I think we found the VP. <laughs> I think we've done it. This is it. I mean, this, who can out pence pence? You know what I mean? This. She brought it. She brought it. I mean, what What more? Is, like, she's the female Joe the plumber. She's all you need. She's Americana. Just it, He's going to put her in a pair of gold shoes and a and a Trump hoodie. And she'll just stand there instead. You know, how Pence used to stand there and just kind of, mm, mm, behind Trump the whole, oh, the whole time. Oh, oh. Whenever Trump would talk, Pence is just, mm. 
this lady's gonna completely up. Quit listening to him. He's telling you to whatever. Just stick the light bulb up your ass. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Stick the light bulb up your ass and get some sunshine. COVID will go away when that spring gets here. And if it doesn't, it's because of the devil. He's a good Christian. I'm trying to say something. I'm trying to sign the treaty you bastards just sign it <laughs> oh god poor lady good lord good honest man they're after him for no reason well there's a lot of reasons actually the fucking he's an adjudicated rapist for one i mean there's lots of reasons i mean you can disagree with the reasons you could say it's selective you could try and kind of bounce it around and kind of dershowitz your way through it but Ultimately, there are reasons. Like, he was friends with Jeffrey Epstein, and so was Alan Dershowitz, and Dershowitz defended both of them, and also they hung out together for decades. And it's, yeah, shut up! Look, he never landed at the island. He just did, they just did, they circled around the airport. They had to go back. And then, because they couldn't, because of the weather. Go out and vote for Trump! No, I'm not, yeah. No, I'm yeah. I'm gonna no. I'm voting for Biden. I'm just you know, I am. I'm I'm voting for Biden. Just saying. I'm good, I'm good with it. Yeah. No, Trump. No, I'm, nah. I mean, I I couldn't even in the primary. I'm not a registered Republican, and I don't live in a state that lets you cross over. So. No paper. Go out and vote for Trump. <laughs> no. Paper ballots only. That's the art. No paper. You fucked it up. You now. Now what are the maggots going to do? You can't vote by machine, and you can't vote by paper. Oh dear. No paper. Um, That's what she said. By the way, just so you know, is the no reason. Go out and vote for Trump. Vote Trump. No paper. Go out and vote for Trump. Yeah. No paper. Don't take a paper ballot. Only touch screens. Only use Dominion machines. <laughs> you can find the, you can find out that she got the whole thing backwards. That she thinks if you vote for him, he doesn't have to be president. <laughs> He's a good man. It's too much. He doesn't have to do this. He's got a good life. Stop him from being president. If they present you with a ballot, don't don't do, do vote for him to stay home. He's a good man! Look at his family! Look at his family! You mean the daughter who married the, the, the dude who got the $3 billion wealth fund from the Saudis? Or Don? Or Eric? Who, again, might not be family. He might be Giuliani's kid, we don't know. Or Gary Busey. Um, they both ran in the same circles. Tiffany might be okay, but I think it's less about how much time she spent with him and stuff. And I, you know, Baron's too young. I'm gonna leave him out of. All good kids. All good kids. All good. Well, well, I mean, Eric did have to plead the fifth five hundred times, and he and Don like to kill exotic animals for sport. It's not. Okay, the van is here. They're going to take you away. Make sure she's on the list. Whew. I've seen her at like nine of these rallies, and the only way we were ever going to get her locked up is if I brought her up. You guys take her. Put her in the cell with the guy in the wall suit. <laughs> I have a couple of notes, if I may, while I've got you here. I'd love you. You're a good man. I, I said it. I'm going to vote for you. But why didn't Mexico pay for the wall? Why did you, why, why, why did you not pay for the wall? And also, how come the tax, the part of the tax break for individuals, why did that expire? Why did only the corporate part of it stay? And how come it, you never got an infrastructure 
a bill passed that Joe Biden did, even though he's signing bills in a fake Oval Office at the Amazon headquarters. And also, real quick, 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 real quick. So, real quick, I just gonna say, also, how come, where's Melania? Why isn't she here? Do you need another Melania? I could be your another Melania. I could, I've only got seven kids, but I could be your next Melania. I could be, I'm more compact than her. I fit in overhead storage bins. I wouldn't take up much room on Trump Force One. I would just real quick, 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 real quick. What's Kim Jong un unsmell like? My friends and I have a bet. I think it's oranges. He says it's it, it, a pad thai, but I keep telling him that's Thai food. It doesn't make sense. Pad CU. I would have never guessed that. That, but it kind of makes sense. Pad CU. That's it's his favorite. Even though, okay, okay. I gotta be honest. I don't know what what Korean food smells like. Anyways, yeah, no, a foreign food makes me throw up. That's why I got the hoodie, because I threw it. I had a shirt on. I was like, I had to carry it with me. I like, but I should cover this before I go up. <laughs> can I just give you a number or something like that, or an email, and you can reach out? <laughs> Judge me, and thank you. I can't like, one more thing, one more thing. Another thing entirely, whatever. I don't know if you know this, but whoever's doing your hair is leaving a big bald spot in the back. And I have a lot of pictures of you from many different angles. And it worries me that someone is sabotaging you. One more thing. One more thing. I can do it. If you want me to. I can do it. I can. I'm I'll gladly be your hair checker. Before you go out. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. Where's your health care plan? Did they steal it from you? You you had it done a long time ago. You said like two weeks, and then what did they do? Did they steal it? They stole it, didn't they? The deep state stole it. Is that what happened? One more thing, one more thing, one more thing, whatever. You might, and I don't want to say this with there's if there are mics on or whatever, but I think you need to change your diaper. They, I, I didn't believe those stories at first. Now my eyes are watering for a different reason, a different reason, a different reason. <laughs> and then he walks. And then he walks up to the fucking mic and goes, "Yeah, no, she's crazy. She is totally nuts." <laughs> Yeah, no, she's crazy. She is totally nuts. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I guess I got to pull the plug. What is he? What else work? There's like a minute left. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's beautiful. Thank you. Boo, boo. I will give the credit. I will give the audience credit. <clears throat> a, a, a lot of credit. I, I appreciate it, Philly. We appreciate you for not booing while Crazy Lady was on the stage. They really did hold back. And then as soon as she left and he walked back to the light, boo. So everybody, again, it's been an honor. You. Yeah, it's been an honor. I got to get the fuck out of here. Michigan, I'm going there. They wear sneakers there, mainly so they can commit crimes and run really fast. But uh, we'll put a stop to it so fast, day one. Stay around and have a lot of fun. These guys do a fantastic job. A great These guys. It's an honor to be invited. It's a slightly different audience than I'm used to, but I love this audience. And go out, have a good time. We love you all. Thank you very much. And go out. Have a good time.
We love you all. I mean, if you're in that audience, that's the fortune cookie moment. That changed your life right there. You're standing next to somebody and you're like, should we go out? I don't know. I don't know. Should, should we Should we go out? Well, thinking about it. You should go out. Have a good time. You know what? We should go out. You know what? It's right. I don't think he's right about it. You know, it's... Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is the signal to get me the fuck out of here. Jerk off in my hair. what I miss? Hold on. I missed the let's go Biden. Yes, they were saying let's go Biden. Uh, and that's where, because everybody was saying, uh, like his folks were saying, they were saying F. Joe Biden, and people were saying let's go Biden. Yeah. Have a good time. Have a good time. The thing you say to a, a group of people at a thing you have absolutely no connection to whatsoever. Yeah, see the sneakerheads love Trump. Sneakerheads is the company. The get Trump sneakers dot com. That's the that's why I kept saying, You call yourself sneakerheads, you're sneakerheads. Sneaker. That's like saying, So, you're all seven uh eleveners. You're all seven eleveners, is that right? This is a seven eleven convention, so you're all uh seven foot eleven. Uh, inches tall, or are you you're open from seven a.m. to eleven p.m. Is that what I hear? That's the same thing. Okay. Show your sneakers to this stupid fucking thing. Uh, that was a waste of time. <laughs> oh boy, you're watching House Sparks Mega Worldwide. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, share this clip, share these shows, share the everything. Join us, won't you? Come in. Come inside. We have so much fun. All right. Um, good Lord. How many sneak? Well, the problem is they sold out, but mostly it was like scalpers and collectors. And he doesn't see a dime of, I mean, he only gets about 30% of the overall cost. He's only making, you know, maybe a hundred bucks a shoe, you know, or, or a pair. And the, they make the rest of it, you know, the company who designs them and all because it's a licensing deal like everything else. He doesn't make anything. Um, and they made a limited number of them and then they sold out immediately because people are selling them at, as collector's items because they're fucking ridiculous. Uh, yeah, for 300 bucks for a $14 Walmart spray. Right, exactly. Just spray paint them gold. There you go. Uh, yes, you can cuss, Anthony. You're allowed to cuss. Um but just don't use any bigoted language. That's the hard part for most of the trolls we have. The trolls, they get, they get so used to it. You know what I mean? They come, they're at other shows, and then they, they make like, a, you know, anti-gay, anti, you know, woman, anti, you know, uh, anti-black, anti-Semitic, those kind of things. And they use really harsh language or whatever. If you have, just think of it this way. You can still be as stupid and bigoted as you have to be. I don't know that I can talk you out of it, but at least use more of your vocabulary than you usually use. Don't default to those words, if that makes sense. Because otherwise you got to go. And I'd rather you be here and learn something, fuck stick. <laughs> so anyways, uh, hit the like while you're in here because you know you like it, even if you hate it. And also uh, subscribe. We 65.5, uh, yeah, 65.5 thousand that we're at. We're hitting towards 100,000. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to get faster and faster. Oh, I promised you guys something. The chew thing. Wait right here. And talk amongst yourselves. I'm so glad that I gave you guys the lecture about not using whatever. All right. I'll be right back. So... Most, most of my shoes, I have two categories of shoe in my life. I have functional and stage. And very seldom will I find something that overlaps. Rarely does something overlap. They're either 
amazing for stage, but they won't take regular wear or they're just too heavy to wear around because I have like some of my new rocks. I love them, but unless the world ends, I'm not walking around those fucking things. It's like wearing roller skates that don't roll all the time. They're really heavy. Or, you know, my it's just functional shoes to get on with it. Just get your fucking shoes on. They got to be reliable and they're, they're nothing to freak out about. They're just kind of there. Anyway, so, um, but I, I did at one point a while back um, at Splurge. Yeah. On one, one pair of like celeb shoes, like a pair of shoes. Now, these, I would say, fall into the, the stage category. There's nothing wrong with it, right? They're, you can wear them all the time. You know, they're regular tennis shoes, but they're, you know, I only have worn them on stage and I still have the box they came in and these are they. There you go. For real. So I have, these are genuinely, these are from, they're styled after the Animalize album cover. They're silver and gold. Look at that. With stars on them and then the animal print. They're a little silly, but they're, I got them. Yeah, they're, um, they're Pumas. Yeah. And they're the Paul Stanley design of these. And I've worn them. I only wear them on stage. Yeah, they're great. Uh, and they're really comfortable too. But I only wear them, they're like rock shoes. They, I wear them with ba- for band shows. That's it. Because they're, you know, it, he's the fucking man. It's Paul Stanley. He's a great human being. He's a good soul. He's a great dad. He's a lovely human being. And, by the way... Um, for those of you that, I mean, and by the way, uh, for the record, um, maggots or trolls in the chat, you might want to set this one out. This will be a difficult, I just want to, I know how tender you guys are about this stuff, but, um, uh, Paul Stanley, you know, uh, has a physical deformity. His, his ear is malshapen. It's been since he was born, you know, it was just messed up. And it's one of the reasons why he grew his hair long when he was young um, to cover his ear because he was really and and, his, and he's partially deaf in it because of its shape. It doesn't have the same like sonic quality as his other ear. It's like having a cauliflower ear from birth a little bit. And it's it it's butts up. Anyways, he w- grew his hair long and kind of lived the hippie lifestyle in the '60s and early '70s to cover for the fact that it, you know to, just literally being around long hair, so he could at least cover his 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 ear. Fuck you, Terry. Um, that explains your music. Shame on you. Never yuck another man's yum. Look. Never, ever, apropos of nothing, shit on someone else's music. Unless you're in middle school. Because let me tell you something. There's a lot of styles of music that don't do anything for me. There's some that I even get irritated by the sound of them. But I don't have to like what you like to love that you love it. Do you understand? I'm not here to, like, yuck anybody's yum. Right? You understand? Do you understand? Are you a grown-up? Are you going to be a grown-up? All right. I, can, I don't know what it is. It's the weirdest thing. Just people feel the need, and especially on social media, people feel the need to drive by shit on stuff people say they like that... They're not even, you're not hearing it. They didn't take over your fucking car stereo. They're not, you understand? They're they're not making you listen to it. They're not getting in your way. They're not taking over your fucking radio in your car and making you listen to something. They're just simply stating what they like. And I'll tell you something about Kiss Music. I don't just like it. I love it. There are certain songs that they have that will always get me out of a funk. There are certain songs that they have that bring a tear to my eye, and and that they're kind of one of the reasons where I came up with my motto, which of course is care enough not to give a shit. Because my whole life, the the man was always telling me um, that it, their their name stood stood for Knights in Satan service or kids in Satan service, and that they were. Uh, evil and the music was evil and all this stuff and I knew that it made me feel better about myself and gave, helped me codify the direction of my ego in my life and made me you know stand up a little taller and be a little happier 
And that in and of itself is a fucking gift that no one can take away. Do you understand? Because I'm not just defending the stuff I like. I'm not just defending Kiss with this. I'm telling you that I don't give a rat's ass if I like what you like. I just love that you love it. And there are battles that can be chosen. Oh, Prince, don't get me started. I'll, one second. Okay, we good? We good? Mm hmm. So, lay this right up here where I won't get hurt. I need to go back to doing my goddamn show. All right. Yeah. Who said how off? Terry did. Terry did it. Terry, I, you know. Yep. But ter ter that's fine. It, Terry's not the first and they won't be the last. I'm sure I'll have to say this shit over again because people, this is a habit people have developed. There's so much fucking, uh, like, th this is what I call aimless rebellion. There's a lot of that. <laughs> Terry Murray, there you go. It's your fault. No, it's, it, you'll, it's a common ailment and it's, I'm glad you brought it up. Everybody does. Somebody always does it. Somebody always feels like they got to do these drive-by yucking somebody's yum. And if it if it sucks and if it's mean-spirited and whatever and it's affecting you in the moment, you're like, turn that shit down. I don't like it. That You're allowed to do that. But this rando shit on social media where people are like, I love this. And somebody's like, that's because it sucks and you're stupid. It's so fucking middle school and it's, un it's save that shit. I like that reflex in you. I like that, uh, you know, automatic negative gain saying, knock yourself the, the fuck out. Use that. Save it. Save it for something that deserves it. Save it for something that actually fucking means something. Um, hold on. Uh, um, Groove Dragon say bullshit uh, has a right to his opinions. You are as dismissive of him as he has a right to be. A kid. No, I'm not. I, of course, he has a right to his opinion. It's the automatic need to drop that someplace, apropos of nothing. Also, uh, Groove Dragon, if I if I may, um, since you're yelling in all caps, um, and 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 I don't think Terry meant to be mean spirited about it. But it was, the joke was based on mocking Paul Stanley being disfigured from birth because his ear doesn't work right. So the root of shitting on the music was a bounce off of that. Now, you want to talk about the character of Ted Nugent or something like that, or the fact that you don't like, that's a, that's a great conversation to have, Groove Dragon. It's not the opinion I have a problem with. It's the drive-by useless antagonism that comes with it. Because you guys know how I feel about opinions. I, I will tell you. To me, I've always said, opinions are like assholes. If you tell me you don't have one, I know you're full of shit. The point is, um, the, the reflex to, in a mean-spirited fashion... Fuck with what someone likes. Groove Dragon, does that make sense? That's right, Dr. 13. I do not have, need to... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't need an invitation. I got to live like I'm on vacation. I completely agree. Um, that's right. You're a Daryl Hall aficionado. Awesome. White Soul's got a, got a place. Thank, thank you, uh, 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 56 Nick Rich, for getting that line, uh, getting the joke. I appreciate that. I'm so proud of that turn of phrase. 
Uh, I feel like that's one of the things I say that could be on a t-shirt as well. Opinions are like assholes. If you tell me you don't have one, I know you're full of shit. Uh, so I have very, yeah, so there you go. Blue eyed soul. That's right. Um, Hall and Oates are suing each other now. Is it over for, uh, cry Joe? Is it, are they suing each other over, um, visitation rights of the mustache or. There you go. So, uh, <laughs> Daryl is suing John? Really? Yeah, then it's over the mustache. It's got to be, yeah. Yam will be there. I, I, yeah. It's like you had to be there, Zachamania. Oh, uh, yeah. Yam will be there. Keep going on. Hold it on. All right. Now, lecture's over. Let's, uh, let's get serious about having fun. Because I, I, you guys know, I'll fight this fight all fucking day. You know it. Now, uh, we just had, we just talked about this young man. Um, uh, I, I think uh, there are people in New York who would consider uh, this moment, this video, the title of it even, to be a, uh, a broken clock moment for Eric Trump. Right here, hold on. Um, the, Eric Trump, after father's ruling, best thing I did was get out of New York. Well, <laughs> I don't know. You should have done it before it cost you $4 million, I guess. But uh, this is him on Fox News. Here we go. Eric Trump. By the way, you're watching House Parks Mega Worldwide. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show, or don't. And that'll tell me a lot about you. Will I be judging you? Absolutely. But I I will not do it with my words. I'll just do it with my eyes. Trump executive vice president of the Trump organization, Eric. Not for long. I, I You do realize that technically, according to the, the ruling, he can't actually run business in New York, even during the time they're appealing. So that's not his title, really. I mean, it's like Angeron tore up his business card, but they've also got it like somebody who's going to oversee all the um, uh, all the business operations like fucking training wheels. You and your brother were fined four million dollars each. Oh, God. Is it wrong that I just want to hear that again? Is that OK? Yeah. Eric, you and your brother were fined four million dollars each. OK, one more time. I'm just I know. <laughs> Eric, you and your brother were fined four million dollars each. Just one more, one more, just real quick. Eric, you and your brother were fined four million dollars each, both barred from operating a business in New York for two years. Dollars each, both barred from operating a business in New York for two years. It just feels good, doesn't it? It just when you when it washes over you, you're just like, this is. Uh, I'm just enjoying. I mean, I mean, each, both barred from operating a business in New York for two years. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are your thoughts tonight? Well, first of all, uh, objection, Your Honor, uh, um, assumes facts, not an evidence that he actually is a thinking man. Listen, Janine, honestly, my thoughts are the best thing I ever did was get out of New York. New York is a, is a hopeless place at this point. It's <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Nobody wants to live there anymore. They don't even do it. They, like the Dow is doing terribly. Nobody even wants to go to work. No, it, it, that's just one of the things. It's one of the things. Nobody even wants, you know, like, no, nobody even likes cement anymore in New York. I know all about cement and they don't even like it. They're making all the, all the sidewalks are now made out of, you know, like some commie, it's made out of nougat. That's what I heard. Nougat. So sad. Wait till the first rain. Then you'll see what the, I'm going to move to Florida and I'm going to have a ranch. Uh, this judge ruled against my father before we even went to trial. He ruled. Yeah, but that's first of all, that wasn't a trial. That was a that was a hearing on damages. The trial was perfunctory because it was provable in the in the writing. There was no arguing. You were never going to argue that his that there were 10 more floors in 40 Wall Street, you fucking tit. ...against our entire family. 
It was a setup from the very beginning. This was never supposed to be a <laughs> setup. They coaxed us into they they tricked us. They gave us the somebody 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 made me a somebody somebody made me use a a a, a special uh, a tape measure that is three times the size of whatever it says on it. Somebody they they gave me gave me they gave me um they gave me this, they gave me this the, like I, they sent me all around the building looking for a left handed monkey wrench and then when I come back they hand me this. Uh, tape measure, and then it's like every time you measure it out, it's like three times bigger than whatever it says. Or whatever it was a setup, it's rigged. It's rigged from the setup from the beginning. Of the and then they made me count how many floors were in the building from the bottom up. And then every time I got to uh, thirty six, they fucking hit me, and I'd have to start again. And they go, no, 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 we have the first twenty is fine. And then I would count another, and then it was like I just I added uh, every time I added a like it was like it was a setup. In that court, it was supposed to be in the commercial division. They would never allow it to get there. This judge, the animosity. The well, because the, because the, I mean, the commercial division. I I suppose yeah, technically speaking, the commercial division was a busy with all the lawsuits against Mike Pillow for always selling his pillows at two for one and then saying it was a sale, which is illegal. Uh, but the other aspect of it is that the the commercial aspect of what you're doing, um, was it wasn't a product you were selling; it was a product you were cheating someone else out of. So. The way he looked at my father in the courthouse was was horrible. I've never. Well, I, I mean, how's he supposed to look at him? Mm -hmm. Like Mike Pence or or that lady? You look at him like he's wonderful. Seeing such hatred in anybody's eyes. So you're not around when he and Melania have the talk. Never. You weren't. You didn't... Never seen. That, that that kind of hate in somebody's eyes. That's that's the guy. You do realize we can all see him. Before, um, Janine, we're an amazing company. And I can truly say that I have never... Well, yeah, you, you can truly say that. You can't say that truly, though. So that's the trick, I guess. I can absolutely form those words with my face, and they come out like any other word, they don't have to be, you know what I mean? But ever, we have never missed a loan payment. We bull shit. We've never defaulted. We've never bull shit. Or breached a covenant. Deutsche Bank, they're the most bull shit. First of all, Deutsche Bank won't even do business with these assholes anymore. They're they got out of it. Secondly, he he sued the the bank that he had a debt with for the Chicago Tower. Threatened them with malicious project, like a for like being malicious lenders or what have you, for billions of dollars, and then settled when he found another. Just basically, basically stave off their lawsuit against him, so he could find some magic money from overseas to come in and bail him out and let him leave his name on it and let him be the silent partner on the actual money. That's why he doesn't want anybody looking at who actually put the money into these fucking buildings. So the Trump veneer, the Trump fucking name is on the building but the money behind his stake in the building is not his you know respected and sophisticated bank in the world they came in and effectively testified that they had a uh no not 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 respected they were that's the thing they very close to getting busted for money laundering for russian oligarchs and it's really done damage to their fucking bank and they've been backing away from it and tried to shuffle around it's one of the reasons why they showed up it's like no no no, it's fine it's fine it's all fine you don't have to look at our shit we don't know and we had his taxes but we don't know where they went amazing relationship with us we paid off every loan ahead of time no again this is like flat out bullshit this is just a lie the dudes declare bankruptcy between four and six times depending on the trump organization the greater trump organization and the myriad of llc's that he has nonsense they made hundreds of millions of dollars off of our organization right but hundreds of millions l less than they should have because they you got favorable terms you shouldn't have gotten because you were lying we put hundreds of millions of dollars of, of cl extra collateral into the respective assets made them top tier mm, no no you did not no none of this fucking flip this house bullshit with the new black splash and painting everything gold. You know, we are called by every single, you know, lender, a pl platinum borrower. Every single one is called. Yes, a platinum borrower. Yes. 
Um, and I got news for you. At casinos, um, they they call their, you know, their like their hot shots or whatever, uh, their high rollers, you know, the like a, they give them all kinds of perks, fancy, all like great suites, tickets to shows, because one day they're gonna be there. When you fuck up and they're going to get an asset at bargain prices. Let me explain something to you about the difference between giant corporate real estate like these fuckheads are in and the average person who has a house. The bank has multiple houses. If one house drops in value, the houses around it that they very well also have the mortgages on or play against the mortgage rate with everybody else on gets diminished by this. And they can be, there can be a cascading effect across a bunch of houses where they're like, ah, shit, we can't sell this house fast enough. And these people aren't going to make up for it. And the investment in this is offset by all that, like back and forth. They can, banks can get very uptight about regular home loans on a giant building like that. If you have a, a, billion dollar project that you're backing and they put some money into it they put 200 million or they find other investors and all this kind of shit and the bank puts up the rest of it 500 million um yeah whale is another word for it thank you bob um if that if these if they fuck up the bank gets a billion dollar building for 500 million dollars you see what like and they know there's room to sell it. At least they did before corporate real estate took a giant shit. All this platinum bar, again, never a default. Bullshit. Now, I mean, again, no, not even close to true. Multiple bankruptcies. Where the f what the fuck is Taj Mahal look like right now, asshole? Of course not. And you have an attorney general who ran on the notion of getting mm -hmm. my father. I'm right because everybody in the city knew how you kept getting multiple chances and multiple chances while everybody played by the rules you were fucking around just like jared kushner's dad and and you got somehow a break and all this shit where they were having to scramble to play by the rules and do it right I'm going to go into the attorney general's office every single day sue donald trump and go home i'm gonna take him down you watch i'm going to sue the blank out of him that was her political platform she yes and the people of new york Oh, years ago went, yeah, at about fucking time. Fuck this guy. This guy's gross. I wouldn't let my daughter walk down the street past him. He'd probably grab her by the pussy. This guy, this fucking guy. I, I, if any of his fucking asshole friends came over there and started copping a feel on my fucking wife in the middle, I'd drop him. You fucking crazy. Fuck that dude. Fuck Donald Trump and his shiny shit. Rest of us work for a fucking living. I'm scrambling all fucking week to get rent together on a three thousand dollar apartment that's the size of a fucking postage stamp, and this motherfucker's lying and saying he's got a thirty thousand square foot apartment and getting a loan on that when it's eleven and he doesn't even live in a fucking thing. Eat shit. Campaigned on that sheep. That's I, I. I'm just channeling. Forget about it. I'm just ch ch channeling my New York inner New Yorker. Fundraised. On that, we didn't have a chance, Janine. We just sure you did. Uh, you know, she would. You know, you know. One of the things that really, really would have screwed up her plan is if she didn't have any evidence. That would. That would have. Man, that would have busted her up. Right? She runs on this thing, and then she's like, ah, "I'm gonna get that fucker, and I'm gonna sue him every day and then she gets in the shit I just gotta look at the books and he's fine he's fine he didn't uh didn't um do anything wrong fuck well uh what's that thing about the linen business in Jersey let's go take a look at that just didn't have a chance in New York because it's a rigged system and uh uh huh it used to be rigged for you, and now it's, and I guess technically, if you were operating on a gangster-style mafia system, and you worked within that system, when it just normalizes, it's going to feel like everything's turning on you. Also, why don't you whine more? You you could not have a better real estate company than, than ours. You couldn't. Yeah, you could. Lots of people do. Lots of people do. Not have a more professional real estate company than Well, I, 
how do I put this? I, at least I know where he gets it from. At least it, it may be genetic at this point. Just being that full of shit. Doris, when COVID hit and they shut down every single hospitality company in the country, guess who never missed? Who the fuck is they? Just a loan payment. Guess who paid all of their employees? Who Guess who always did? Guess who had a bunch of fucking uh, empty hotel rooms paid for by the Chinese government? The right thing. Guess who employs thousands? Guess, guess who had uh, Yi Jen Ming, the head of CEFC, uh, in an empty apartment across from the, the United Nations? Guess who had a building that they lied about the, the vacancy rate on it so that during COVID and probably got more PPP than they should have because how many, how many people want to bet that these motherfuckers submitted PPP support on a bunch of their LLCs? Um, yeah, through the government during fucking COVID on floors that didn't even exist. Thousands of New Yorkers every single day puts food on the table for their families. Yeah, but they could also work for a company that actually does something hates their yeah. their children you know I, I mean you have a lost state right now where you have businesses flee yeah new york's just walking around just dazed shuffling around pants dragging looking all hem hems all frayed just dirty knees and stuff looking like they just met were hitting the bat with the you're you've been adopted but your dad still loves you uh, hammer you know they just uh, uh. I don't know what to do. If I don't have the Trumps, I, what identity do I have? I, I mean, without the bullshit glitz. I mean, I do have real glitz. I have Broadway. That's something. I guess I could focus on that. And then, and of course, there's Wall Street, where basically more money flows through than any six-block area on the planet. It's It's like a religious... It's like the mecca of cash. Uh, you know, and there's the Upper West Side, which is, you know, fancy. I mean, Central Park's nothing to sneeze at. And then Eiffel Tower is pretty great or whatever. And I, I mean, I always have the Empire State Building. That's the great thing about it. And we are the Empire State, so we can just keep calling ourselves that. So the brand's still good. The brand's still good. I guess the, you know what? You're, you're right. I think we're, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be good without, uh, without uh, Eric and uh, what's his name? Fleeing, fleeing, fleeing. And you have a company like ours that have paid over $300 million in taxes to a city. My father built this. Yes, and got uh, all of it back from the federal government, even though you didn't actually pay it out. Skyline of New York City. You what? Million dollars in taxes to a city. My father built the skyline of New York City. Okay, calm the fuck down. Now, look. And this is uh, uh, very seldom do I think there's be a moment where, like, if if Trump was actually sitting there, he'd go, oh, that's, I don't know. I mean, that's a little grandiose, don't you think? That's a little over the top, even for, even, even in gold sneakers. That's a little, I'm just saying it sounds like bullshit. I didn't, well, it's, it's just that the sign with my name on it is basically at street level. It's not really up at the skyline, but the buildings were already there. So, right. And this is the thanks he gets? Yep, yep, This is the, that's terrible. That's the thanks he gets. Apparently, the, the New York skyline fucking sucks. Yeah. I guess they're just mad. Maybe that's what it is. New Yorkers have always just been mad about their skyline. Like, they walk outside. What the fuck? This whole place looks like shit. Every time I fly by in a plane, I'm like, oh, God. What is this? A bunch of fucking square stalagmites? What the fuck? It just looks terrible. You know what I mean? I can't, why can't we have a space needle and some open space downtown like fucking Seattle or something like that? I mean, San Francisco looks nice. It's a little hillside. Whatever. Manhattan's just kind of like this weird fucking sonic... It looks like a fucking mix of things just where the there's too much mids. I don't know what the fuck that is. It just looks like, you look at the top, it's like, why is everything so square? And then a couple of them are pointy. It's bullshit. I blame Trump. For doing absolutely nothing wrong, not a dollar financial loss. No, no, no. Uh, again, bankruptcies. Anyone? You're just, you're just going to fucking pretend. You know what? I, I take it back. 
you know what it might be? This fuckhead might actually think, like, all of our bankruptcies were for projects outside of downtown Manhattan. So, what the, what the fuck do you care? You know? What the fuck? The exact opposite. Hundreds of millions of dollars in financial gain? I don't, I don't think Engron can hear you. I, I don't, I mean, I... You, you look upset, but I don't know that it's going to change anything. And as to Don and I, we, every single witness testified, we have nothing to do with this. <laughs> we don't even know how this shit works. I don't know anything about it. My dad changed the skyline. I didn't touch it, okay? The fucking skyline was like that when I showed up. I don't know. This I don't even know how this works. You can't be guilty of something you don't understand. I don't even, I don't know anything about, I, all I know is I didn't do anything wrong. Now, technically, I don't know enough about the business to know what right is. So I wouldn't know that either, but th that's not the point. Who are you? <laughs> They went in witness after witness. This is not what they did in the company. It did. What? With this, they went in witness after witness. This is not what they did in the company. They win aid. Wait, they win aid. They win aid. The Don and I. Uh -huh. we, every single witness testified. We have nothing to do with this. They went in witness after witness. This is. Oh, they went in. Witness after they went in. <laughs> I'm too stupid to be guilty. It's a fantastic. It's it's brilliant. It's actually as a as a de, as a defense. You know, it's it's sort of like a. It's not an insanity. It's a mental incompetence. Uh, thing. Like I'm. You think I'm stupid about this shit? Ask Don. He doesn't even fucking know what what uh, Gap is. I'm fairly certain it's a place where you buy um, slacks. Not what they did in the company. It I always thought Gap was called New Navy. Because if you look at it, right, Dad? 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 He's not here! It didn't matter this guy. You know, we were trophies on a wall for this guy. You know, this guy. Oh, and Garan. Right. Oh, this is the state of New York. Oh, uh, what do you mean trophies on a wall? You mean, are you using an allegory of like, say, uh, an innocent animal killed by trophy hunters who are assholes? It's a good, it's a good analogy. It works. Not in this case, but I do think you, it's a good point to make about trophy hunters being assholes. So, you know, thanks for bringing that up. Work. I caution anybody. Mm. I caution anybody even thinking about moving to New York to just. I just wanted to get one. I'm thinking about it. I'm just. I just wanted to get one good think in before he gives me the one. Just Ugh. be careful. This is not. Uh, oh, I will absolutely. I mean, it's New York. I mean, you got. I mean, Son of Sam, Times Square killer. You know, the mob, the fucking cabs. Jesus. Not the state that my father grew up in. This is not the state that we grew up in. It, it is. I, I'm gonna need some proof. You actually grew up. But okay. this is the demise of a politically weaponized system, and it's 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 the demise of a politically weaponized system. So your dad weaponized the system, and now it's no longer weaponized. So it's it's collapsing because your dad created a okay horribly sad, Janine, and and I promise you, we're gonna fight this, and we're gonna win at the appellate division because honestly, it's so egregious. Oh, so egregious! It's so egregious. I promise you, we're gonna get it overturned. Okay, well, uh, great. Uh, so fast to make your head spin, right? Two weeks? What do you think it'll take about two weeks? Um, good luck with that. And good luck with putting up $400 million in a bond while it goes through. And also not being able to run your company. So I think you should also correct her that even during the appeal process, you can't be the vice president of the company anymore unless... 
you move the corporate headquarters, I guess, to Florida or something like that, which uh, good luck. Well, you know, and I, I, I hear the passion in your voice and I. It's panic, Janine, panic. It's another P word, but it's not. Yeah, passion, panic. It's panic. I mean, so many people agree with you. So many. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Don and uh, the other Don. And um, uh, Alan, no, he turned. Michael, Co no, he doesn't like you anymore. Um, Mike, Pe no, that's not. So, uh, yeah, so many people, him and Don and uh, their Don. People agree. Letitia James was, uh, was out of control in terms. Yes, yeah, crazy, just wild. I don't even know how she managed to show up in court and hold it together long enough to, to have a case presented and do all this stuff. I mean, that is nuts, and it's, cr it's throwing shit, and it's just like a wild animal, and yet managed to file all of her briefs on time. And curiously not, uh, enough, uh, why why did you have that um, uh, I I issue with, like, Alina Haba and stuff, who, who was clearly in control, but couldn't file paperwork properly on time or with a decent argument? It's a small question. If you could answer. So what she promised. Then you've got a judge who's unhinged who said juries get it wrong most times. You know, when he said he decides based on emotion. I mean, everything about it was all about lawfare. But Well, except the part where they could have had a jury trial and they blew it off. You guys have had to fight this every single day. Well, I mean, not every day. Sometimes they had, uh, you know, Trump had a golf event with the Saudis that he had to go through. He wasn't there all the time. They didn't actually have to be there. They have attorneys to do it. It's a business thing. Um, and they, if they had any brains at all, they would have seen it coming and moved the whole thing. Am I the only person that's noticing how gray he looks? Every day since Donald Trump took office. Well, yeah, mostly because he didn't actually recuse himself from the business. He didn't actually hand over the, he still had control of the company. And at some point, you know, mm -hmm. you, you, you have to say to yourselves, I mean. It, it, you have to say to yourselves, am I not stupid enough? You know, how much dumber do I need to be before I'm innocent, Janine? Huh? You know? I don't know anything. I don't know how I could know less. Uh, how could I how could I know less so that I could actually be dumb enough to get, be free of this? That's not the question you're going to that's the question I keep asking myself. I didn't even hear what you were saying because I was asking that question. Th this is just too much. But you your family never gives up the press. <laughs> well, yeah, they do. He's been selling properties and that kind of shit, and they obviously gave up. I mean, they're going to appeal because that's what you do, but I guarantee after the appeal, it's not like, we're going to keep fighting all the way to the Supreme I'm going to sue the state of New York. I'm right about this. Look at these paperwork. Turn these machines back on. Sell, sell. No, he's just going to whimper and move to Florida. The president never gives up. Yeah, he kind of does. Why? Why? He should. Why, Eric? Is it is it your fault? Why doesn't he give up, Eric? Because he's lost and he's not going to win. Can you talk to him? My father never. My father never gives up. He's he's the toughest guy I've ever met in my entire life. And, and... Uh, so, okay, so Don doesn't invite you to the UFC things. I thought Lara was the toughest guy you've ever met. Sorry. He is hell bent on winning and we're going to win and, and he's hell bent on winning. Well, maybe that maybe that's where he should go. Maybe that's where the winning is. November and and Judge Janine, you, you know this. If he was Judge Janine, you know this. You're not a judge anymore. But we call you that cuz that's the name on the show. And if I say uh my dad's a billionaire, the word means more than the actual money. See how that works? If you're if he's not a billionaire, you're not a judge anymore. How would that feel? How would that feel? I, I mean, I mean, obviously I'm talking to you. You're in New York. Fox is still in New York. Can... 
Miss New York isn't the front runner for president of the United States right now, they wouldn't be doing this. It they would have to do this. He would have just already been in jail. I, seriously, if he wasn't running for president, that's why he started running. This has never been tried in New York. This has never been tried but before. It, that's because nobody else has stepped in it this hard. There's no better real estate company in the country than that's nonsense than us. You are a silly person. They would not be doing this if Donald Trump wasn't the front runner for president, beating Joe Biden in every single poll. Ab nope. Absolutely blowing Nikki Haley out of the water. That's no, not not so much. See, he's losing 50 percent of the Republican Party. Anybody who's voting for Nikki Haley is not voting for Donald Trump, even in the fall, even if he's the uh, if he's the nominee. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. And Rashida Tlaib trying to gather a group of, you know, 8,000 people to vote against Joe Biden because she doesn't like the fact that Hamas broke the ceasefire both times. Oy. That that's going to have a dent. We've got to we've got to fucking sweat it about Joe Biden's chances in Michigan over that. But this motherfucker she, like N Nikki Haley's running away with 45% of the electorate on the Republican side, who are basically only backing her because it's a middle finger to Trump. Good luck. That's why they're attacking him. They're attacking him civilly. They're attacking him criminally. Yeah, we're being very, very civil, I think. They're doing everything they possibly can. No. Well, not really. Obviously, he hasn't been drone striked. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, we haven't sent witch hunters after him, literally. It's allegorically, he calls it a witch hunt. We don't actually have... We didn't send the fucking child sniffer from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang after him. I mean, we have a lot of options. <laughs> Not using any of them. And it's weird also that you, you, you do realize that he has all these fucking cases because he's earned them. I, again, he Letitia James would be in deep shit if he wasn't so mobbed up and criminal different than impeachment one impeachment two the russia hoax the spying on his campaign the going out okay uh both impeachments went through just because he wasn't removed doesn't mean he's innocent of them and you know it secondly the decision not to remove him from office by republicans was strictly based on the idea that he was out of office at that point and they're like let the let the regular courts deal with him. Mitch McConnell said so much. There were only a couple of dissenters and they were specifically using, well, he's not in the office right now, so we don't have to remove him from office because he's gone already. So fuck that. They knew he deserved it. They said so on the floor. They just didn't take the step because they were lazy and coward. After Kavanaugh, they're going after all of his advisors, you know, they They're going after Kavanaugh? Are you kidding me? Maybe after Thomas, if that ever happens. They're trying to, they're doing it because Donald Trump is winning. They're scared of the movement. That's what it is. It's all the winning. They're, you know what it is? They just don't, they fucking can't take it that he's got a sweet pair of kicks. Yeah. That's what it is. They're jealous. They want some big, shiny, fucking fake gold kicks, and they don't have them. So they're just mad. ...that he's created, which is question the power in Washington, D.C., and... Question the power? He questioned... Oh, did he do that before or after he drained the swamp that's still there and eliminated the deep state, which is bigger than ever, and... But after he built the wall to fix the border, which is worse than ever. You know, and one more thing. Air insurrections, that's nice. You know, Judge, the appellate court has already declared victory for us in so many of the aspects of the case. No, not us. Don't You don't say us. Ivanka. Ivanka. She, she got dismissed. The, all the parts where they're like, nah, okay, never mind. She didn't really do anything. She can go. That's That's where you won. Like the that that literally was she didn't do anything. You motherfuckers, however, that was the this the the whole the whole thing we just watched was about was the you motherfuckers, however, section of the trial that the judge ruled against us on today. The biggest yeah. one being statute of limitations. <laughs> 
It yes, are we guilty? Sure. But it's been too it was a long time ago. The, this stuff. Now, we kept re-upping the lie every time we shared those documents with somebody else and it restarted the clock, but fuck. I haven't I don't know how any of this works and I haven't known how any of it's worked for a long time, so once we put it together, I I I I I I thought, I thought, I, I, it, I, it's too late. Right. And, right. and it's really insane. He just, frankly, he just ignores it and, and moves on. But this no, he doesn't. No, he, no. All right. In a, in an absolute avalanche of bullshit, that might be the biggest one so far. Either that or Eric does not watch any of his father's rallies, which I wouldn't be surprised. This is his way of trying to punish Donald Trump literally weeks before he decides to retire and sail into the sunset. And it, uh, are they going to buy him up? Does he get a, does he get a piece of the award so that he can buy it? For, and, and is he sailing? Is he really, I mean, he does look like a dude who listens to yacht rock. I will say that if, if you can say anything about and Garan is there's, there's definitely Christopher Cross in his playlist. You know what I'm saying? Some Steely Dan, you know. No static at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not wrong. <laughs> and I ride like the wind, run like the wind. And I've got such a long way to go, such a long way to it has to be stopped. We're better than Steve Miller band. Absolutely easy network. No question. This is a country. Yes, we certainly are. All right, Do uh, Eric Trump, thank you. Oops. Um, she was either about to say Don Jr. or dumb Eric Trump. So much for being with us. Because uh, that was a. Yes, we certainly are. All right, Do uh, Eric Trump. Duh. Uh, actually, that's. I got to give her credit. That's actually how you really pronounce his name. That's the original uh, way you pronounce his name. Um, most Eric's, it's just Eric. But in his case, it's D Eric. That's, um, that's uh, it's like, it's like his preferred pronoun, kind of. That's his preferred way of pronouncing his name. Anytime you're like, what's your name? D Eric. So that's what people think it is. <laughs> D Eric. <laughs> like to thank uh, Eric for being here. Um, <laughs> sorry. Thank you so much for being with us. All right. And I'm getting... They just cut him off. They didn't even get to say you're welcome. Giving Fulton County DA Fannie Willis a piece of my mind next. Uh-oh. Next. Oh, are you sure you have enough left over to actually function as a as a bipedal primate. If you're going to give her a piece of your mind, I'm just saying, I'm just saying you don't have, it's, it's like, it's not enough to cover a fucking cracker. I'm just saying, you might want to, just when that, you're like, uh, I was going to give you a piece of my mind, but I really don't have, there's not that much left to go around. I'm going to need this to, I don't need a lot. Because I work at Fox, but I do need that. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Um, I already, I gave, um, uh, every day I give Joe Biden a piece of my mind, and I'm really running out at this point. I mean, I've got so little left. Look at my makeup. Um, <laughs> oh, the good times. Um, all right. Hi, chat room. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's House Parks Mega Worldwide. Uh, like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show. If you would, uh, Venmo, it's a great way to support the show. Patreon.com slash Al Sparks or, uh, or just, uh, just give it a like. Whatever site you're on, just subscribe. Come on. You can also hand out memberships and subscriptions um, on, on, on YouTube and on uh, Twitch, uh, however you like. It helps us. Helps us grow. The, the, oh, that's all I'm going to do. I can't do it. God damn it. I'm just going to dump it down. Now, um... Oh, let, well, it's only fair, I think, in the, in, now I think a lot of you, if I may, on this next one, kids, uh, 
one of the worst things Reagan did, fairness doctrine, man, getting rid of that where you don't get equal time. There's a lot of unevenness in our media because of that. We just had Eric on. So it's only fair that we see the other side of the Trump family. Um, the man with the rubber pallet, um, uh, the uh, the guy, guys, uh, the guys guy, a guy who's a guys guy, guys, guys. Um, this is his response to the video, uh, to the uh, ruling, rather, this video. Uh, Despicable by design, which I think... Isn't that the name of the show that they that the Trumps pitched to HGTV? <laughs> it's not bad, actually. I think it's, if the Trumps were to have an HGTV show, I think Despicable by Design is a winner. I mean, it it's so on brand. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Donald Jr. Mm, I was a little, uh, this is good. Donald Trump Jr. responds to New York civil fraud verdict. Here we go. Yeah. B, DBD, that's right. You got despicable by design. Here we go. Breaking news, folks. The president. Breaking news. G Scoob. Um, Eric Bowling, Jesus. What was that? Hold on. Breaking news, folks. The president Donald Trump says that. Oh, come on, Donald Trump says it. Hey, Scoob. Justice system in New York State and in America is under assault, and it most certainly seems like he's right. New York Judge Arthur Ngoron, the very clearly political. Okay, somebody's got COVID, or uh, he's got a sore throat, or something's funky. Oh no, yeah, he's he's either got to stop smoking so many. He's been smoking cigars with Don Jr. again, hasn't he? He's up all night smoking fucking cigars when you got to work in the morning, and then you're late to work anyways because you got to stop by the. The facial clinic to get marzipan filler and then uh and then and there's still or maybe that's maybe it's just the nougat filter they put on size judge by the way has ruled that the 45th president defrauded banks by inflating his worth to acquire loans yeah ordering trump to pay the state of new york 364 million dollars excuse me i just gotta enjoying myself for just one second Leftist lawfare continues on its path. Leftist lawfare. Why would why would it be leftist lawfare if it's like did they shut down real estate as an interest as an industry and try to eliminate private property? Or are they trying to keep the real estate market functioning? Path, folks. All of this, by the way, despite the fact that the bank Donald Trump supposedly defrauded testified in support of Trump. Got it. Well, also a uh, German bank with ties to uh, Russian oligarchs and a history of money laundering. You didn't bring in by the people from Bank of Cyprus? That's weird. Off the heels of what we just watched over the last couple of days. With Why is he only barred from business in New York for three years and not forever? Uh, Boston Brian, uh, it's a good question. Um, I'm going to go with um, because they go on, on scale and a probationary measure is what they give everybody right out of the gate, so they don't just like automatically scissor it off. But he's the three years of not being able to operate it is also somebody there with training wheels while they work out the whether there's going to be appeal or anything like that. And that hall monitor they put with him for the next three years is basically going to be the permanent shutdown part. Georgia District Attorney Fannie Willis in court. This only proves yet again how corrupt America courts have become. America courts is is she uh. America courts. I've never met her. She seems lovely, though. How politicized the system has become against Donald Trump and the whole of the MAGA movement. Wait a minute. So, so anybody with a Trump flag can't do business in New York City? New York City. New York Judge Arthur Ngoron, New York Attorney General Letitia James. These people have been clear that their intentions are not as they should be. This is all just part of a pathetic attempt. To stop, to stop Donald Trump. Yeah, to sop up Donald Trump with a piece of crusty bread. From becoming our 47th president, and it's clearer and clearer by the day, it won't work. Looks like... Well, it won't work. You mean him being the 47th president? Yeah, I agree. Judge Ngoron just inched Donald Trump even closer to victory in the 2024 election. Well, we're lucky to have him here. Let's bring in Donald Trump Jr. to react... Uh... You look, you look like you've lost, uh, weight. You, you look, what is it? Uh, 
He looked four million dollars lighter. Executive vice president of the Trump organization. It, again, technically not as of the ruling. I don't know if that, I don't know if his title is held in abate temporarily, but he can't. As long as the business is set up in New York, he can't run it. He can't be a vice president. Is that are you, are you just you know what I take it? Maybe he's calling him that just to rub it in. Don, first reaction, thank you for joining us. Give us a, when you saw that number, what were you thinking? It's just insane. I mean, it's, it's literally, I mean, they're like, we don't have that kind of money. I don't, come on. It's insane. I mean, I, like it would take me, I mean, a number that big, it would take me weeks to snort that amount. Never mind. There are Democrat lawyers in New York that are calling and saying, this is crazy. This is. Yeah, I'm sure there are. What were their names again? Dersha what? So much worse. This is five times worse than we thought it would be. I don't, I don't think it's five times worse than anybody thought it would be. What? Also, you, you thought you were going to be guilty but only pay a, a $64 million or something around that zone? Plus yours, plus Eric's, plus whatever? Uh, you know, every plus interest. Everyone's screaming about Russia, Russia, Russia. But the reality is what we complain about in Russia is happening right here in the United States of America. Is it? I didn't. I didn't realize. So, so we're. Is he being? It, Trump's been. This is video of him being taken to a gulag, and marched through the snow till he collapses. Oh no, he went. He went. He went back to Florida on his private plane after this happened, and then he went to Philadelphia to sell sneakers. And now he's going to Michigan to keep running and stuff. It, you're right. It's almost exactly like that. And you're basically Edward Snowden at this point. And that. And in that. Uh, by that, I mean your CGI. The facts of the law don't matter. Your party... Is they, well, not to your attorney. Obviously, they do to Engeron and everybody. <laughs> they don't... It's your team that... Affiliation and where you live is going to be the determining factor from now on in, in our courts of law. They've they've shown that now time and time again, and it's absolutely disgusting. Really? Do you, how many... How many court trials you think are going on in New York at any given time right now? Or even in Texas for that matter. You think anybody... What, uh, where'd that uh, fucking Chris Lee knows, knows best guy... He went to jail, and I, I think they were in Georgia or something, right? And that was for the same shit you guys did. You know, I, I saw the number, $354 million, I think, uh, for DJT, and then... And I was like, he doesn't have that kind of money. He's full of shit. You and Eric and, and, and I think one of the others got... One of the others? One of the others. It, it wasn't Ivanka. It's not fucking Tiffany. Baron didn't do anything wrong. What the fuck are you talking about? Not, yeah, four or five million each is some insane number. I, I just, you know, in Goron... Shemp, Shemp, Shemp Trump. ...has shown throughout... That he's got it out for you guys. I mean, this this is clearly going to appeal. We have Alina Habba coming on in the next block, but it, yeah, but she's not going to tell us anything worthwhile. So can you straighten this it, out? It, it's going to go to appeal, but what are you thinking with the appeal? Uh, well, uh, my dad doesn't like appealing to anybody. He doesn't appeal to anybody. He only appeals to people's baser nature. Uh, he appeals to pussy grabbers. He appeals to uh, xenophobes. It's just what he does, guys. Well, listen, the, the reality is it's still New York, right? So you never know. I mean, you got to remember that half of the judgment that you're talking about in the 364, half of that was already ruled inadmissible because of stature of limitations in the Court of Appeals. No. Apparently not. The Court of Appeals has already ruled that, and this judge simply decided... And by the way, because of statute of limitations, not because we're innocent, but because we got away with it. You can't triple stamp a double stamp, Lloyd. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. You can't triple du stamp a double stamp. No quitsies, no stops. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. Right. Decided to ignore that because, again, it's not about the law. It's not about the facts. It's about a giant game of financial tag, and we touched base. Uh, it's about penalizing Trump, trying to He's a penal. hurt Joe Biden's number one political rival. That couldn't be more clear. Imagine... Just ignoring the appellate division that's already ruled on these things? They're just saying, you know... Yeah, it should go fine. And I think you take it to the appellate decision. They'll go, what is this? We didn't say that. They'll clearly throw it, ha the half of it out. So you'll pay the other half and still not be able to do business. And you'll be, what? Oh. What? I'm going to pretend like... Our businesses' heads are falling off! We got no food! 
significant. They don't matter. The next natural court uh, in the land in New York State just totally ignored. It's just absolute insanity. It's such insanity. It's so sad. It's insanity. Don, the, uh, the judge in Gorin had about a 70 or 80 page uh, ruling. and Yeah, which he clearly just dashed off. Didn't even think about it. Like, nobody reads this shit. Like, he wrote it. You could tell he wrote a lot of detail so nobody would read it. Yeah, it's like it's just like the bureaucracy of bills and stuff. In it, he said Trump showed no remorse. And, and I'm thinking, no remorse because no one was injured. This is a victimless crime, but some... Nope. First of all, the banks have uh, investors... All the investors make money on uh, the rate at which the lending is done and the safety of that. He uh, sued his bank multiple times, including Deutsche Bank. Um, so, yeah, no, no victimless crime. Also, he muscled out money's a finite resource. So he muscled out people who deserve the loans, whose businesses were, irre you know, irre irrevocably harmed in this particular case. Because they didn't get, they maybe wanted that building and he bullshitted his way to the front of the line. Somehow he's attaching his massive judgment to Trump not showing remorse. No, it wasn't yeah, uh, part of it. And, and it's because, and by the way, the part of it is you can't do business for three years. Because obviously you can't be trusted because you're full of shit and yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not about remorse. There's no victim you know, in this thing. The, the yeah, well, would I have remorse? Fuck them. These banks aren't even my dad's type. Look, you can even see, like he, what he wouldn't fuck this bank. That's, I mean, that's not that. That's, that's his first bank. That's you know he he married that bank. He was married to that bank. That's what. That's one of the banks he fucked. Oh. Some alleged victim, Deutsche Bank, a huge, oh, probably close to a trillion dollar institution. Uh huh. Where did all that money come from? And uh, why was it that uh, they don't want people looking at their books? Got on the stand, said they were paid back in full, said that we never missed a payment. They made hundreds of millions of dollars in interest on this, and they wanted to do more business with Trump. No, they didn't. They actually got out of business with Trump already. Hold on one second. This is a, let's see if I can find this real quick. Um one second no 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 just hold on i've got to wait till this the silly page silly silly drugs uh yeah here we go Is it three years ago? Here you go. Hold on. Whoop. Hold on. Um, I don't know why this is all ja jaggy, but I think it's because it's not, it's too big. Hold on. There you go. Uh, Deutsche Bank. This article is more than three years old. Deutsche Bank joins companies cutting ties with Donald Trump. Bank had propped up Trump organization for years despite it being sued by president, but acted act uh, but acted after the Capitol attack. Deutsche Bank became the latest large company to cut ties with Donald Trump, the firm that has propped up the Trump organization for two decades, reportedly announcing it would no longer do business with the disgraced president. The German bank's move, reported by the New York Times, follows Wednesday's deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol building by a mob of Trump supporters. The number of corporations disassociating themselves from Trump is now turning into an avalanche. That's still true. Deutsche Bank has been Trump's most important lender. Trump organization, fronted by his two older sons, owes the bank about $340 million in outstanding loans after a series of bankruptcies in the 90s. It was the only bank willing to give Trump money. The relationship has survived various scandals. In 2008, Trump sued the bank's real estate division after he defaulted on a $40 million repayment used to fund the construction of the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago. He accused Deutsche Bank of co-causing the financial crisis and demanded $3 billion in compensation. Instead of dumping him as a client, Deutsche Bank's private wealth division stepped in and loaned him more money to pay off the existing debt. Deutsche has resisted efforts by Democrats in the House and Senate to explain its relationship with Trump and to clarify if Russian state banks or entities underwrote some of his debts. Gee, I, I don't, they didn't, that didn't come up on the stand. That wasn't part of the conversation. Um, uh, it's unclear if the decision extends to other members of the Trump family. The president's daughter, Ivanka Trump, and son-in-law, Jared, are both Deutsche clients. It does not. They're still in business with them. Um, 
Firm said they will no longer give money to Republican representatives who have promoted Trump's false claim that November's election was rigged and that Trump won. In the past, both have donated to uh, uh, candidates from both parties. Uh, Deutsche Bank has not done business with Trump since 2021, since January 2021, right after January 6th, and will not again. Just saying. Also, they default. Not less. Doing business with the Trump organization was a feather in their cap, not a liability, but it mm. Till January 6th, I guess. Again, that didn't matter uh, as it related. To it was a feather in their cap when they were talking to Russian oligarchs who wanted to hide some of their money outside the country. To Eric and I, every single witness said we had nothing to do with the things in question. Didn't matter. Uh, again, as I said, even liberals were like, ah, oh, they're going to rela release those guys because they had nothing to do with that. No, we didn't. I'm a liberal and I, I didn't say anything like that. Did any, did you, any of you guys? Who did it? Chat room. Chat room. Who was it? Fess up. I hope it wasn't the same person who has the laptop this week. Which one of you said uh, they should let Don and Eric go because they don't know anything? All right. Uh, Julianne, I knew it. I fucking well knew it. Jul okay. And VJ Kodak did it too? Jesus. You guys, quit it. Guys, guys. Guys, 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 yeah. Guys, 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 yeah. Um, I need a, hold on. I need to like a, like a, let's see. Some sort of, did they have a, they got to have some sort of like Don Jr. beard, right? This, this, that's, that's not going to work. Um, Gotta be. Uh, all these beers are too goddamn big. What's the fucking... Guys. 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 That's not That's not a thing. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Um, mm -hmm. This one? Guys. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's this one, I guess. Do I have to pick one? Nah, that's not even much of a beer. How about this one? No, that won't work. Shit. I'm making my computer freak out. I'm trying to find a beard that looks like his. Nope. <laughs> Don't have it. Yeah, I, I, I look like Stone Cold Steve Austin or something. This doesn't work. Son of a bitch. How about this guy? That's... This is closer. This is clo this is Don Jr. Guys, guys, guys. This is very. It's got a. This will work. It's got a very, uh, very Ellis attitude to it. It's got a very Ellis style or whatever. Hans, Booby. I can give them to you. Right. That's yeah. guys, 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 guys. A flagon, a guys. That'll work. The boy. Flagan. Pretty clear. The judge found that Michael the Cohen, judge. someone who's perjured himself so many times. It he lied on behalf of my dad. Guys, he totally goes. He totally lied on behalf of my dad. And then when he said he told the truth, he was telling the truth, but he was telling the truth about lying, guys. Flagan. At this point, on the stand, that was a credible witness. What did that's right. He said he was credible about not being credible. I mean, guys, come on now. Sorry. My, I've got this thing put in on my hard palate. It's like a, the, the dentist gave me to plug the hole from the Coke. And it makes me really nasally. I'm sorry about that. Jail. He perjured himself on went the to jail. He, he went to jail for lying for your dad. And then he gets out and does crime and, and fuck. And then what are you supposed to do? He went to jail for that. He went to jail for lying for your dad, and now he won't lie for your dad. Like, what? The, I know. Guys, guys, come on. Guys. He went to jail for it, but then did it again in this very case. He he came in and said, they asked him what he said that he went to jail for, and he repeated it on the stand while saying he was lying, but at the same time, guys, guys, come on, guys. Guys, come on, guys. Guys, 
he uh, he was he said the same lie, even though he said I said, and then he said it, and then he said, which was a lie at the time, but I went to jail for that, and that was there. But he still repeated the lie on the stand. You can't. That's fact. That's a fact. That is a fact. Okay, that is a fact. That's like it. Water's wet. Eric's dumb. Fact. He perjured himself in front of this. Coke is expensive. Fact. It's very judge. Ritalin makes you racist if you don't actually need it for uh, actual medical reasons. Fact. And that doesn't matter. He's the one. Fact. I'm the only guy who's ever grown a beard and made his chin small. One that's credible, not us. With <laughs> Again, witnesses, their star witnesses saying that we were in fact in the right and we were fine. So weird. So weird. Just because their star witness, who of course is the guy who got busted for lying. We haven't been busted for lying. Yet. Yet. You know, he went to jail for lying. We haven't gone to jail for lying yet. After we go to jail for lying, it'll still be his lie because I'm just repeating what he told me. It's, it's, I don't know how to do I don't know how any of this shit works. Guys, come on. It's absolutely mind-blowing, Eric. So, you know, if I had a mind, it would be blown. It's mind-blowing to me and should be to everyone watching right now. Although nobody watching the show, in all fairness, Eric Bloating... Uh, has a mind. This is a mindless show, so consider it pre-blown. Letitia James, the Attorney General of New York, ran, before she was elected, ran on getting Trump. And this is her baby, this is her case. It's just... And, and, uh... I mean, I mean it's unbelievable. Promises made, promises kept. It's horrible. Dad's still working on his uh, health care plan for, like, the longest two weeks ever. She runs on it. Bam! It's like these guys don't even know how government works. You're supposed to promise something and not do it. That's how it's supposed to work. God. This blows me away that the world didn't see it, that Ngoran didn't see that this was this was her payback. You you elected me. I'm going to go get Trump. And, in, you know, in the end, so yeah. far, she has. So your thoughts yeah. to, uh, to Letitia James? Well, we yeah. said that from moment one. Before she knew anything, before she looked into the cases, she said that this is what she was going to do. And again, in an area... Now... Granted, she does have a newspaper subscription, so to say she doesn't know anything, I mean, whatever. Uh, 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 look, I'm his son. I don't even know anything about him. I don't, I don't, I don't, Eric, what I know about Eric is I don't, I know Eric doesn't know anything about anything. That's what I know. Guys. Like New York, where it's entirely stacked against you. You know, 90 It is. Everything is stacked against us because they use stuff like everywhere you turn, it's like math. And and good vocabulary and and business and uh, collateral and you're like what 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 guys guys be something percent Democrat and again if you're a Republican if you were on a jury they avoided a jury in this one because I guess they thought a yeah if you're a Republican don't whatever you do if you're gonna like try and set up like a news network that's completely Republican and like take a whole building. And turn it into, I don't know, name it after some sort of animal. And run, forget about it. It's not going to work. It's going to fail, okay? If you're, you know, if you're that kind of, if you're a crass asshole with a bunch of friends and stuff who talk shit about women and are gross, whatever, don't try to do your radio show out of New York. It'll never take off, you know what I mean? Because it's so liberal, you can't do anything anymore. That's Jury like, would give it to us, so we'll do a bench trial. But it, it, someone couldn't do that. They wouldn't be able to go to a restaurant again. They wouldn't be able to go to their children's school because it's so heavily weighted as a one-party state. Yeah, they, they, it, like the, all the restaurants have like Democrats only, and they have separate water fountains. That's what it is, Eric. Eric, basically, there are separate uh, there there are separate uh, groups. There's separate water fountains, separate toilets for, for Trumps. There's all these restaurants and other they say Dems only, and then we've got to use this other shitty little water fountain. We're discriminated. We're 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 gonna do. Uh, if we rode the bus, we would we we would Rosa Parks something. This is by design. It's why they're choosing these venues. It's the same thing what you see going on in Georgia right now with Fannie Willis. It's the same thing why the grand jury in the Florida case was actually a grand jury in Washington, D.C. for a case in Florida because they understand that in that it was a federal court case and that was the grand jury is about a 
a federal case, even though it happened in one of the states. It's the same thing they do with all federal, like even serial killers and stuff like that, or mob people that they have to do. You know, they do a, they have to have a grand jury in Washington for all these uh, elements that you know. <clears throat> Front of a grand jury in D.C. The rule of law, basic D. Nothing matters. If, if Debs, they get to do whatever they want. And the Trumps, we're just stuck down here. We're being kept down by the bad because the, we're, we're, I'm an orange man in a white man's world. Decency, all of the above, it doesn't matter. We're going to go after our political enemies. We're going to show them. And, you know, again, they're, they're doing it right now in America while we're complaining about what's going on in Russia. It's pretty ironic. Yeah, yeah. It's so ironic. So ironic. So ironic. We're thinking about moving there, Eric. We're going to move there. You want to come with us? You don't want to come with us? You sure you don't want to come with us? Come with us, Eric. Eric, come with us. It's so much better there. Did you see Tucker's videos? It's so much better. It's so much fucking better. Ironic. So, so the judge says, and part of the ruling was, three years banning, you can't, I guess you can't get loans from banks in New York. And he also went so far. Well, he actually, you can't run a business at all. I mean, a lot. I mean basically, that is our entire business, is just getting loans for banks. We don't do much else. We don't build anything or make anything or create anything or fix anything. We just get loans that we don't deserve to buy shit. We don't need to sit on it until it's worth more and sell it to a, a dumber sucker than us. As far as to say, hey, banks in New York, don't lend them money, which I, I find that a leap, right? So when the judge, when, they, when the, the legal system jumps into the private businesses of banks, telling them what they can and can't do, I have a serious problem with that. But he's... Uh, well, they're not lighted up to load to us, Eric, at all. They're not going to give us... They don't... There's not... Eric, Deutsche Bank's in Germany. <clears throat> says you can't get loans from banks, but you also can't sell any properties. So what are they telling you? What do you... What's your next three... What, what, first of all, what do you do? Three years look like. You know, I think they're just trying to make it as difficult as we can. Hopefully the appellate division has some... Um, real quick, let me, um, did you hear that sentence? Real quick. Run, run it by me again, dummy. This, this is what, they're what? You know, I think they're just trying to make it as difficult as we can. Hopefully. They're just trying to make it as difficult as we can. <laughs> I don't think they could do it. I honestly, I think you make it way more difficult than anything they could do. I mean, you could fuck up a free lunch. Your dad bankrupted a, a casino. <laughs> Fucking, it, let me tell you something. Fonnie Willis and Engeron couldn't bankrupt a casino if they tried. As a matter of fact, if a casino tried to bring in a bankruptcy case to them, they'd probably try to find a reason not to grant the bankruptcy. They, it would literally be Im nearly impossible for them to let that go. They, you... All right. The appellate division has some sense and some reasonableness, and they understand the slippery slope of what this causes. If this is allowed to happen, I mean, any attorney general can just threaten someone after the fact, you know, you didn't contribute to my political campaign. You know what? We're going to go after you for a billion dollars and, you know, we're probably going to win because it's New York. Uh, the the because it's New York. You mean, the oh, the zoom in on his guns. You mean these things up here? If it, people can't see this like this fucking gun tree, like a fucking hat rack. Full of like or a or a coat rack with guns on it over here. I don't know if we can. Let's see if we can scale that up. Let's see if I can uh, theater mode, and then it only goes so big. But that's 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 his fucking gun stack over there. Dumbass. All right. Anyways. Uh, this is what I used to hunt kittens with. Opening that this creates for graft uh, and th outright theft and essentially extortion, which is all this is as far as I'm concerned. Ex <laughs> well, it's already happened. You're, you've been ex what, what are they extorting you to do? Not break the law? That's what fines are, really. If you really think about it, you know. A fine is basically just extorting people to not break the law. That's, I mean, if you think about it, Hashtag taxation is theft, you know. Uh, but 
driving on roads you refuse to pay for is not Extortion against your political enemies. Uh, they've just opened that door wide open, and it's just un-American. It's absolutely despicable. So it's a, it's alarming. It's appalling. This, this yeah, it is. It's so alarming and appalling. It's judgment for anyone who's an American. Forget if you're pro-Trump or not. I mean, if you not. Just put me in the not category. You see something like this, $364 million for a victimless crime. You don't have that kind of money. <laughs> Your dad's broke. I heard him. I, I, was, I was at Mar-a-Lago for one of those parties or whatever when he was, you could hear him and Melania screaming at each other through that wall and stuff. I started crying and Eric came out and he had that like weird dazed look in his eye and he just was muttering, we're broke. We got nothing. We're broke. We got nothing. I was there. It's insanity. I'm just thinking of all the bad things that are going on that don't get punished. But he- yeah, all the bad. What do you mean? All the bad things that are going on that don't get punished? You mean like, like Paul Manafort and Steve Bannon and Mike Flynn, those kind of guys, or like all the people he pardoned? Or the resiliency of Trump is to be noted, though. Yeah. He's being persecuted in Georgia, in New York, in the federal level, and full everywhere and yet he comes back i think he's got a big rally tomorrow in michigan i think we're going to take that as well here but yeah yeah, take it live because it's going to be awesome but talk to us about how how you how how he's standing up with all this coming at him yeah because he sounds great and not confused at all and when he says shit it it all comes out so smoothly he can do things with his tongue you wouldn't believe it (laughs) yeah it's incredible and he doesn't there's like it's amazing because he's so resilient that he doesn't I mean, he's like zero. Purge the anti-Semitism and pro-terrorism. Terror, uh, what, what you're doing. Mm-hmm. It's the, uh, whoops, my buttons are being weird. Listen, he's a fighter. Uh, you know, he could have stopped doing any of this stuff, Eric, after 2020, just packed. Nah, he really couldn't have. It up. Everything would have been. He could have stopped breaking the law. Fine, they would have left him alone, but. He believes in this stuff. He understands where it's going. He understands the slippery. No, he doesn't. Slope I was just talking about. Uh, he's not going to stop. He's going to keep fighting for our country because. No, he isn't. He moved. He left New York. He. He left Alan Weisselberg out to dry. What are you talking about? He understands that if you don't. And it's not like the Republican Party puts up too many good fighters. If you don't do it now, you get past a point of no return where the republic is lost. Uh, We we will become the Marxist state that the Democrats seemingly want. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. It's a uh, yeah. Joe Biden's going to turn into a Marxist state. You, You do realize which Democrats are mad at Joe Biden. It ain't it. It ain't the centrists. Also, uh, I guess technically speaking, if we're if we become a Marxist country, where are you going to go? Jeez, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of liberals were saying if you your dad won, they were going to go to Canada because that was kind of a you know a, they considered it like a social the socialist utopia next door, right? Um, meanwhile, um, where where's he going to go? Where you? I guess uh, hu- yeah, Hungary. You go to Hungary. Yeah, yeah. What could possibly go wrong? I I yeah. Ivanka will have a great time in Hungary. So will Melania. Oh, yeah. So that's what she wanted to do. Leave Eastern Europe to come all the way here so she could go back to Eastern Europe. Uh, and, you know, th- those kinds of political persecutions will continue. He's the guy standing in the way is of he, that. Is he, uh, that's a is huge he, burden. Is he mad? He, he understands he, the burden re- and the responsibility. Did this make him mad? Did this give him more resolve to win? I mean, what, what, just give us some... Yeah, it just numbs him, really. You know what I mean? You know, like when, you're, when you do a freeze on your gums with Coke, it just kind of, you know... Wow, man. Oh, of emotional, uh, uh, of uh, course. Right no, we, I spoke on. with him earlier. I mean, he can't believe it because you can't believe that this sort of thing is happening in America today. Really? He can't believe it? He, he can't believe it. He just can't believe it. He, did, it. he can't believe someone so hot as Elena Haba could be so dumb. Okay, but, but it is, and it just strengthens his resolve to keep fighting. He's not going to stop. Uh, people see it. People see how ridiculous it is. Again, 
They are. No, they kind of don't. They kind of increasingly go on, this motherfucker's guilty. There are people that probably hate our guts on the other side, you know, in the legal field in New York. Uh, Columbia law professors that are saying, this is not, we've never even seen anything like this. This is not even. The Columbia law professor you paid to be your witness? You mean that guy? You know, above and beyond the law, they're just making it up as they go along. Hmm. Well, then it, you would think if you had, you know what it is? Then you, your dad must have the absolute worst taste in lawyers in the fucking world. If they're just making it up and there's nothing there, bullshit. Any shithead ambulance chasing fucking bus stop lawyer could have kicked this shit right out of court in a matter of hours. But somehow, somehow, you lost all this fucking money. So and maybe, maybe, just maybe, it might, and, and again, the you don't know shit about your business and neither does Eric. That's the, according to both you guys. So maybe, just maybe, you're wrong about this. And your dad was engaged in a bunch was engaged in a bunch of shit. And the reason he's saying I I'm protected by the statute of limitations is because he knows he did something wrong. Did that ever occur to you, dummy? When those people who probably hate your guts are absolutely disgusted at what's going on, you know there's a serious problem going on in America, and that's why this is so critical. I think the American public sees the overreach, the absolute insanity of it. The absolute insanity and the nonsense. It all. What you're not allowed to talk about, the flagrant disregard, the, you know, giving credence and credibility to people like M Michael Cohen, uh, that's the star witness. You mean your dad's fixer? The guy who turns state's evidence? I mean, this is the this is a mob argument. You do realize that, right? I mean, they get it, and they understand that, again, it, it's only a matter of time till it comes to them, till it's one of their loved ones, till it's their business. Uh, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's only a matter of time before all of us lie about a building we own and pretend it has 10 floors more than it does. Who doesn't do that? I mean, how do you pass that up? Nobody's looking. Nobody's. I, what? I, I'll just on on my next equity uh, bank loan from the same bank I bought the house with. I'll just tell them the house got three times bigger. With uh, what? And I spent no money on Reno. <laughs> it just got three times larger than is physically possible. And I think they're going to wake up very quickly. If also, by the way. For any maggots or trolls that are in there, bless you and thank you for being here. You help us with the algorithm. But I also want to tell you that you do realize the reason why Trump lied about his apartment being 30,000 square feet instead of 11,000, which is nothing to sneeze at, right? Uh, who gives a shit? That's the size of the floor, right? Take another floor of your own fucking building, I guess, if you want to, or two more, if you want to just triple it. That's, put staircases between them. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why he says 30,000 because that's how much square footage Oprah has in the tower in downtown Chicago that she lives in because she took three floors of this building and went between them. And she modified this. It was a big talk in Chicago when she did this. She took literally three floors of this building, bought all the plate, all the condos in this one thing, knocked down the walls and put stairs between each floor and owned all three. And her place was about 30,000 square feet. I think 28,000 or something like that. So Trump lied about the size of his place. He started telling that lie after she actually built that place. She had a real apartment that was worth, that was 28,000 square feet. And this dumb motherfucker was like, well, then mine's 30, but he just didn't do it. He didn't do any of the construction. He didn't do, he didn't do anything. He just, he just scribbled over the one and made it a three. They haven't already. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Appreciate you. Yeah, leave it right there. You know, kind of like the the bankruptcy around the Taj Mahal. And uh, yeah. The, the... Jump into a camera for us on this uh, breaking news night. Thank you, Don J Donald Trump Jr. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. And thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks guys. Whew. That's uh, the family is handling it very well doing all right now how about what about one of the lawyers what about you know obviously alina Habba's having a fuck throwing a fit but uh she's not she's not the only famous trump lawyer i mean there's ty cobb who is not the 
dead baseball player. Um, but there's, uh, there's, uh, he, he knows a couple people who do this stuff in I chat room, by the way, like subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show, uh, patreon.com slash Al Sparks. That's what makes the show run Venmo. There it is. Nothing but Venmo. Cup of coffee, you know, send it my way if you want. God knows I need one. All right. Uh, here's another one of his attorneys. Uh, oh shit. Uh, sorry. I should have warned everybody. Um, uh, this guy, uh, I, I can't remember his name, uh, ghoul something, uh, off the top of my head. He was the guy in the Borat movie trying to fuck a 15 year old girl, um, in a hotel room that he thought he had her trapped and was trying to get a handy from her. Uh, luckily she was overage and cameras were rolling, but, whew. uh, anyways, this is, uh, uh, this is his attorney who, um, if you don't know, he is a history in New York. Um, he was the mayor apparently at some point, but before that he was, uh, the, the DA, and uh, he was responsible for brooming the Italian mob out of New York so the Russians and the Chinese could move in. That was, uh, and he did a great job. And he was rewarded handsomely for it. Yeah. Um, this fellow right here says, and, and this is, I mean, obviously, you know, you're Trump's level. You can afford top dollar, top men. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in in the legal profession, to give you great advice, like some judge should throw all Trump cases out. That's uh, whew. that that's I don't know where he got his law degree, but I I probably could. I, it's probably a place where everybody has to wear a, a black robe just to go to the place. So uh, some judge. Um, state, federal, I don't know, probably both or neither, should throw all Trump cases out. Well, First, I, let's go back to the New York civil... Actually have the ability to, but okay. Yeah, Judge Reinhold would be great. Yeah. Judge Janine isn't... Uh, have you called her? Fraud case where the Trump family has been ordered by Judge Arthur Engron to pay $364 million in... Mm. Mm. total and is also barred from doing any sort of business in new york for the next three years now the form mm -hmm. yeah we, we'll just all take that in for a second just let that wash over you enjoy it it's one of the little silver linings i promise that and here it is president he does plan to appeal trump still facing 91 felony counts and four other criminal indictments the dc yeah, that was just the civil shit. See classified documents case, the Georgia Fannie Willis election interference case, the New York Stormy Daniels hush money case, and the Jack Smith January 6th case in... Yeah, when you say it like that, it's depressing this guy. He's not, he didn't... I mean, it's in the teleprompter, but it's Newsmax. You don't have to repeat them. You, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to shake your head while you say it so that people know that you don't believe it. D.C., so the lawsuit witch hunt is far from over as we rapidly approach November. Yeah, the big question right now, do we actually have a verdict mm -hmm. that could impact Trump if he's the nominee between today and Election Day, mm -hmm. eight and a half months to go? Joining us now... Yeah, uh, apparently, because... Uh, I, apparently not, because maggots uh, will vote for him even though um, it's been proven in a civil court that he uh, sexually assaulted E. Jean Carroll and was unremorseful about it, and, uh, and a pig and an asshole. Um, hmm. Now for more of the... Oh dear, it is a green dress. It's not that bright, though. I will, I will give her a pass. It's a bluish green. I mean, I could do it, but uh, he's, and he's wearing a green tie. They're just fucking with me, aren't they? They just, they just gotta do it. They just gotta, you can't fucking, you know, your assholes are gonna, you're just gonna do this, are you? Just gonna try and make that happen, are you? Gonna let's see if I can. I think it's because it's darker. I gotta change the filter on it. Let's go edit. Here we go. I try and do this. And the color key in this business. And then we'll try uh, this guy right here. Color green with similarity. Whoops, that's too much. Too much. Close. Get back down here. That's pretty good. Okay. And then take this guy. We'll grab this picture. And then we'll just... Ah, fuck it. We'll just blow it up and bring it over here. There you go. She's She's got her own... Uh, it, it, she's probably got the Trump shoes. So it's only fitting 
that she's wearing the uh, the Trump Epstein flight dress. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I think it works. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can make it out, right? That's Epstein on the left. There's Trump on the right. There you go. Um, good stuff. All right. Former mayor of New York City and former Trump attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Mr. Mayor, great to have you on. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, doing well. Glad you're with us. A lot to talk about. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it's a lot. It's a lot. After last week, busy week. My goodness. Although I thought. My goodness. And you're broke now. Uh, by the way, Seamus says, fuck you. I thought that Friday was a good day for Trump lawfare when you saw what happened in Georgia until that verdict Friday mm. afternoon. Um, how much do you think. Until reality set in, you mean? I think all of this hurts Trump on the campaign trail. Because, look, this is a question we've been asking for the better part of a year. Mm -hmm. But in Michigan yeah. on Saturday, Trump spent the better part of his speech talking about these cases. Yeah, the better part of his, I wouldn't call it the better part. Just say most. And talking about this $355 million judgment. Uh, not mm. talking about Joe Biden, not talking about his plans for a possible second term. How much does this really affect Trump? Well, I mean, so far, you'd have to say from the objective evidence that it helps him. Uh, I, I mean, when they first started, I didn't know. we have never had an indictment of a, of a former president or sitting president. And uh, I kind of suspected he would be able to withstand one or two because of the, I think the knowledge that people have that this is not really fair. This is not really justice. Uh -huh. Four of them, it's amazing that uh, he does better. I think we're probably at the point where we have to conclude that a lot of the public has made up their minds about these cases. Mm -hmm. And I think the only thing that's going to matter is, will a conviction, which is a different word, uh, make a difference? Now, it really shouldn't because they've concluded that the cases are unfair. And the correct yeah, result in an so. unfair or unjust case is an acquittal. You know, I was taught as a prosecutor, my job was to do justice. And it was emphasized not to get oh, a conviction. Right. And uh, you look at these cases, every one of them, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know the right legal term for it. But well, why would you? You were just uh, the DA, a uh, lawyer yourself, one of his impeachment lawyers. You did all of his cases as far as election fraud around the country, even in areas where you weren't um, a practicing lawyer, and you didn't have a license to practice law, and you were the mayor and you ran for president. Why the fuck would you know a legal term that would have to do with the fact that your former boss and future husband uh, is actually guilty of something? I, I'll give the right word for it. You're a joke. Hmm. And That's great. That's much better. You know what? Cut, cut to the chase. Go right to it. And they are a political travesty and a crime mm -hmm. against the United States Constitution. No, no. I mean, if they are, shit, would they be easy to appeal? Bragg's probably being the biggest joke of all because it's barred by the statute of limitations. <laughs> isn't, isn't that an admission, admission of guilt? I mean, isn't that a, I got to say, that's like pleading the fifth. Isn't that, fucking, never mind. There are probably five or ten million uh, uh non-negotiation agreements or, or, or non-disparagement agreements. I myself have probably negotiated 500 of them and had people sign them. Right. The non-disparagement agreements. You mean non-disclosure agreements? Litigation of all kinds. It can be personal litigation. It can be business. It can be about trade secrets. It could be about national. Yeah, but it can't hide a crime. Security secrets. It can't hide a crime. You can't hide a crime with it. There's no NDA that covers a crime. Uh, it's a, it's a, if we're not going to be able to use this in a personal matter, it's going to change the law completely. It's also... Hold on. Can I, anybody else notice that that's where the fuck he went with all this? After all this shit? That it's the NDAs? Is this the idea that Alan Weisselberg shouldn't have been able to tell what was going on in the company? I mean, he lied. Is that what he was supposed to do? I mean, he, again, you can't... An NDA doesn't cover a crime, but is that what the fuck? What a weird take of all the shit. Not the banks were happy, nobody was... You know, like all the bullshit Eric's saying, which is obviously fake. Right? It's, I don't know. This is really weird.
statute of limitations and nobody should have been able to snitch. This is great. I mean, it's the it's the way innocent people talk. Sure. Uh, just a basic tenet of law. <laughs> that snitches get stitches. I think that's, and I think that's what we got to teach the kids today. What if kids start thinking they can just, if something awful happens to them, that they can go to someone of authority and tell them and, and, and there will be ramifications for the person that hurt them? What happens then? What kind of country do we live in? I mean, that's the end of our democracy. Right, Eric? <laughs> that you don't experiment with the criminal law. You do not try new theory. Well, that's that's what Trump was doing. I think I think that's what a lot of criminals do. I think that all the time they experiment with criminal law. What can I get away with? Now that sometimes you're wrong. That's all Jack Smith has done in his career. The only reason uh, Garland selected him is because he's a slimy, uh, unethical lawyer, and that's not my word. That's the word words of the people who have disciplined him. Yeah. This is what he's done. He's taken non-cases, brought them against people, ruined their reputation, and then... Well, I mean, obviously he couldn't do that here. Kind of pre-ruined, you know. The Supreme Court overthrow them 9 nothing. Overthrow them? Really? He was overthrown? I didn't realize there was an entire... Is that a judicial coup, or... Then we get the person... Overturned, I think, is the word you're looking for, but that's a... Uh, you know what... Who, uh, who am I to say? You're the one who went to law school and were mayor and DA and, and Trump's lawyer. Georgia, you know, Fanny. Did, need I say anything about Fanny? <laughs> Fanny. I mean, Fanny shouldn't be bringing a RICO Fanny. case. Mr. Mayor. Fanny should be defending herself about going to prison. There isn't a case worth anything against him. Some judge should come in and throw them all out. <laughs> That's the end of it. Uh, they just cut to that. Uh, really, they didn't let you go on with that legal theory. Some judge should come in and throw them all out. Just a judge, one of Trump's judges, I presume. Is that what we're talking about? Uh huh. Um, yeah, good times. Uh, back to you, chat. Um, man, where did the time go? Lord Almighty. Okay, this I'm, I'm gonna do one more because it's short. Uh, if that's okay with you guys. Is that right? One more little, little, little nugget. Um, because it's one of the lawyers. It's another one of the lawyers. Not Rudy, obviously. Um, but uh, don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe. It's Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, this is... Uh, remember uh, Christina Bob? Yeah, the one who uh, Trump tricked into signing the affidavit that said that there were no classified documents at Mar-a-Lago anymore. And she was there on the day the, the FBI showed up and proved that she was lying on that previous affidavit. The guy he threw under the fucking bus who was back and forth about, I'm his lawyer, but I'm not really his lawyer. I'm not, I'm a lawyer. I'm not his lawyer. I'm kind of the lawyer. I'm near towards the, la I'm la a lawyering sometimes. Okay. Most of the time I'm a host. That's what I want to do. Um, so... This, this is, um, I'm, I mean, the title says it all. Trump lawyer. Mm -hmm. Judge Engeron is trying to hurt my client financially. Well, I mean, I, what, are, what do you want me to say? You're lucky he's not in jail? Uh, uh, Trump was trying to, uh, uh, yeah. That's what a fine is. I, I mean, broken clock moment or just stupid? Certainly think the trial team is going to be looking into Certainly. everything that... Certainly. I agree. Certainly. Certainly think the trial team... Certainly. Certainly. There's no question there. Certainly. Certainly think the trial... Certainly do. Um, what do you think? Uh, she's got a hosting job coming up and she's just gotten Invisalign and she's still getting used to it? That's, I'm going to go with that. Trial team is going to be looking into everything that they can do to either circumvent that or. Um... Yep. She's got her. Has got, she's got her Invisalign in, and she still not used to it, which is fine. Happened to anybody? Do a dumb thing and happened to all of us. Accommodate that in another way. I think it's um, a bit strange that this judge is trying to do everything he can to hurt the president financially, despite the fact that there are no. Well, no. I mean, he he didn't. 
He didn't hit him with like an Alex Jones. I, I think it was actually kind of light. Victims, uh, the banks did. But certainly, what the fuck do I know? I'm certainly not an attorney this, at, at this moment. Anyways, in in history, did not lose money. The banks were fully repaid with interest. There was. Well, no. I mean, he he was he defaulted multiple times. There was nobody who was harmed by any of these transactions, and then. Yes, anybody who was trying to get the loan or was trying to buy the building that sh that actually deserved it or could afford it or stuff was muscled out of the way by him and whoever was telling Deutsche Bank, we'll cover it, just give him the loan. And the, the judge takes this egregious step to say he can't uh, use New York banks or New York funds. No. Okay, I thought she said Tuesday. What she said was to say with Invisalign. To say, to say, to say. To, to th that's what happened. It's okay. Knowing that as a New York businessman, he has money in New York Bank. So right. um, it, I, I, I personally think it's a bit of a, a stretch and overreach. Why does he care where the money comes from as long as it's from a lawful source? Um, but <laughs> Well, that's his concern, I think. But they're doing everything that they can to hurt the president. Yeah. No. No, I think, uh, like I said, uh, there's a lot of options out there. I'm just saying, you know, none of... Like, his fingernails are still intact. He's still able to buy blue suits in in a um, double X dumpy. So, of course, uh, let's play a little bit of his comments. Big rally in Michigan. Very well attended despite the freezing temperatures. And we all huge. Also, no, we're days away from the primary there. That's right. It's going to any second really voting underway. Big auto union state. Let's play this clip for you guys. Oh, you mean the place where he faked uh, going to a union house that was actually not uh, union he paid scabs to pretend they were union people that that state the judge one of the least respected in new york state said that mar-a-lago in palm beach florida now you don't really know too much about it but it's very you're stupid and i'm wearing gloves these were a gift from oj very valuable real estate let me put it that are you outside what the fuck was worth 18 million is it is his hands all scabby is that what it is? Million dollars in order to try to make his case. By doing that, he put the values way down. He tried to make his case when, in actuality, it's worth anywhere from fifty to one hundred times that amount. Says judge, he gagged. He doesn't want me to talk. You're not allowed to talk because when you hear me talk, you'll say, "Oh wow, this is a corrupt system." Not one. <laughs> you are talking. You are, you are able to say it's a corrupt system. You just weren't allowed to fucking dox people. One case was ever brought like this in the history of New York State. This is... Oh, the green screen of Trump. I see. Sorry. Was it... Uh, it, it would have to be a blue screen, though. Hold on one second. I think we can... Uh, yeah, good idea. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, go back to here. And then... Oh, you rat. Come on now. go edit filters go to, oh sorry close is the wrong one there it is edit filters and let's go to here sorry if it's being a little wonky uh switch to blue there we go and uh, raise the similarity that'll work yeah okay this works um Go to here. Get over here, you rat. There we go. That's better. Okay, now, sorry, you were saying? <laughs> mm hmm. It's the only one. I wonder if they were doing that for political purposes or for election. Well, I think Governor Hochul's comments, Tom, are noteworthy because she says other businesses don't have to worry. Um, you know who is speaking up besides? Yes, other businesses that aren't criminal. It's the truckers. We saw an auto worker come on the stage there saying, I support Donald Trump. And now there's this GoFundMe fundraiser, which says uh, 300,000. Jeez. Oh, is this from the convoy? Dollars, as of last night, has been donated to pay for Donald Trump's legal bills. Uh, no, it was to pay his fine, but 
it's it, it can't be can't go to that it's going to be hilarious. but please do it because go go fund me uh they apparently laura loomer says they're a liberal organization and they make money on this stuff and then they're not going to even do it and yeah. You know, uh, it is amazing to see the reaction despite uh, Letitia James trying to revel in her verdict on Friday, Tom. Yeah, absolutely. He has an enormous. Ha. Uh, I, 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 I used to hate cathetering while I was driving. Support, unlike any other president in the television era, maybe even more than Reagan. And so the these. I mean, I, I got to say, it's very bold of him to for Trump to do this uh, this banner, right? The one with him and Epstein, make America great again, and then to actually, that's that's bold. I mean, talk about leaning into it, you know? <laughs> that's, that's, you know, hey man, he's, he's a fighter. These cases demonstrate to the people who aren't being listened to. Remember, his movement started with the Tea Party movement, which started with Washington not listening to everyday Americans and not helping them. And that has just grown and will continue to grow. And I put a piece in news. Yes. As soon as yeah, if people think uh, the government's not listening to them now, wait till Trump gets back in office. Max, after the last election, saying the reasons Trump got elected still remain because Washington still is this oppressive place to American business and the everyday person, and Trump still champions them. And as long as he continues to do that, he's going to have this kind of support. He is, and uh, we're seeing... <laughs> Can you imagine, I'm just saying, if Joe Biden danced like this, on stage just yeah i don't know why he has one glove it's a michael jackson thing um maybe he took the gloves and the hat off and that was part of the thing or is he still Dang got it. Uh, obviously nope still got yeah he took one glove off and he's holding it the other glove he's keeping on is that the hand with the sores on it you think i didn't want more pictures of his fucking festering boils um can you i'm dead serious can you imagine if if joe biden was like on stage at the end of stuff, fucking maggots would flip out. Explain to me, maggots, what you would do if Joe Biden danced like this. He'd look cool. I'd say was, he'd look cool. He looks, are you fucking kidding me? Seriously. See South Carolina, the next big state, um, and Nikki Haley. If fucking, if Joe Biden did that at a fucking rally, while they played fucking YMCA? Jesus Christ. The number of, like, gay jokes that would be thrown around. That, like, they go, like, ah, fucking Biden's Pride March. When's he coming out of the closet? Jill's a beard, blah, blah, blah. Like, that, it would be non-fucking-stop. At least still holding on for Saturday. We'll see what happens there. Uh, guys. Yeah, we'll see. I want to talk a little bit about. Also, that is not an AI-generated picture, by the way. About a big week for House Oversight. It's an old one. Side James Biden is coming in on Wednesday for his transcribed behind closed doors interview. A week uh, later, I'm sure it's gonna kick ass. I'm sure it's gonna like this will be it. This is it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just planning on, you know, having everything I've said just be turned on its fucking head by the testimony of James Biden. Hunter Biden will come in. There are questions about how the president's brother used his influence, Christina. Politico has a piece up talking about how uh, Jim Biden made a, a lot of money in a rural health care provider. Uh, AmeriCorps now accused of $100 million Medicare fraud in that case. There's also talk. Right. Uh, are you going to have uh, um, like uh, Rick Scott come on and and help you break down the story? about the FBI um, in the past, um, you know, playing a, a role in sort of secretly uh, video audio taping some of the conversations that he was having um, with a bribery investigation into a Mississippi trial attorney who gave $100,000 to his a consulting firm. What do you think we'll hear uh, from when this uh, interview goes down about the president's brother? Um, I, I don't know. Are we going to be mid yawn or? Well, I I can't wait to see what they're actually able to extract from him. I have no doubt. Sure. Yeah, me too.
Uh, whatever. Let's see what they can extract. Out that he will be very well prepared for this interview or deposition that he. Yeah, well, I mean, he's obviously got better lawyers than Trump does. Sitting for, um, but you know, the the House Oversight Committee has come up with a lot of information and a lot of mm. documentation demonstrating that the Biden family has. You mean like the FD ten twenty three has been uh, engaging in what appears to be corrupt business dealings. In. Uh... Sorry, it's been a few months, but in um, what uh, what uh, appears to be, appears, appears to be. We're almost four years into this shit, appears to be. Peddling influence, selling. Peddling, peddling it. Oh, okay, All right, like it's a fucking bicycle, appears to be peddling it. It would be, hey, here's here's an idea, fucko. How about you present evidence where he actually influenced something that actually fucking changed? Mm -mm -mm. Instead of potentially pedaling his fucking bicycle up to the top of maybe mountain. Access to their office. Uh, and so what, what office would that be? His office as a private individual in 2017 and 2018 when he was no longer in office and not running? So I think it will be very hard for James. You think? You think? You think? You think? Okay. Biden to um, lie about documents, lie about tapes, lie mm -hmm. about. Yeah, because he doesn't have to, you mean? Physical evidence. And so uh, I don't know everything that the House Oversight has at this point, but I hope that they. Really? Because everybody else does. They are very well prepared to. Uh, prepared to what? Lose again? Um, box him in on. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're masterful at this. I especially like how uh, when, when uh, um, what's his name? Devin Archer came in and uh, Comer didn't even fucking show up for it. That was, it was playing fifth degree level Kung Fu chess. The evidence that they do have, because that's that's going to be the only way they're they're going to be able to trap him, because he'll he'll lie about everything else. Well, I, mean, I guess if he he lies, then you'll have him on perjury. Maybe, potentially, possibly, perhaps. Thanks for the super chat, Peter. Peter, say Peter again, motherfucker. Say Peter again. Uh huh. Shit. The chat room doesn't even know there's a bunch of bunch of maggots in there saying maybe. Mm. <laughs> the uh yeah. Uh the the end. <laughs> and scene. Oh man, I like we don't have to cover it because it's like every Glenn Beck thing, it's fucking long, but look at this real quick. Republicans could do this. Oh well, let's, uh, I sorry, I have the the um I still have the fucking filter turned on. Hold on one second. Um, it's, uh, that's Texas, by the way. Boink. There it is. Um, Republicans could do this? Turn Texas blue? Oh, no. This stealth, quote, Republican move could give Democrats a huge election win. Uh, promises, promises. Promises, promises. Um, you guys are awesome. Now take it easy, cupcake. You, yeah, you take it easy, cupcake. Eh. Um, anyways, uh, I gotta run. Love you guys. Uh, see you tomorrow for the regular show. Yes, yes, three o'clock Pacific time, the afternoon. Maybe we'll get to cover some of the stuff I didn't get to cover. Jesus, I'm just like, there's a stack of stuff. It was like sometimes the Lord giveth, and the Lord keep on giving. That's just how it is. Um, take care of yourself and uh, take. Go long haul. I don't have to cook dinner for a change. I do, though. So, um, Summer and I are going to go to dinner. So, Daryl Hall promises? Yes. Promises, promises. I don't think that's Daryl Hall and John Oates. Though. That's a fucking, why must you stay? I don't know if I can. It's not my genre. Um, but uh, in the meantime, um, there you go. Can't remember? Yeah. 
is that the name of the band? Wouldn't that be funny? You should have been, that's a great, Naked Eyes. Okay, good. Yeah, that, there you go. I, I do think uh, Can't Remember is a great name for a band. What's the name of that band? Can't Remember. Uh, me neither. No, I mean, that's the name of it. What? Can't Remember. Fuck you, dude. What is it? Can't Remember. Well, then why do you keep saying it? I don't know. Can't, we're Can't Remember. Oh, you fucker. I will find you acting on your best behavior. Turn your back above the nature. Everybody wants to rule the... There's a room where the light won't find you. Holding hands while the kidney... Almost made it. So ha sad they had to feed it. Everybody wants to rule the world. I know I'm silly. <laughs> Hit that like while you're at it. Thanks, Peter, again for the super chat. Thanks, everybody, for following. Thanks to our new members. Thanks all that stuff. Look at you following. That's great stuff. Thanks for subscribing, Rebecca. Look at that. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Donald Trump built the Twin Towers with his tiny bare hands. How dare you? Oh, that's true. That's a good point. Touche. Danny Mars, super chat. Uh, as New Yorker by birth, I approve that portrayal. Uh, oh, I approve of that portrayal, Hal. Nicely done. Thanks a lot. Oh, God. I guess, right? I mean, I don't even know how to say thank you in New York. Didn't it fuck you? Did you just say that? It's kind of like the opposite of uh, bless your heart. You know what I mean? You know, down there, bless your heart means fuck you. Up here, you know, it's very possible that in New York, you know, fuck you means bless your heart. It's possible. I like it. Uh, it's possible. Uh, Gene Churchill, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Carl, thanks for being a member. Uh, you can get memberships and all that kind of stuff. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.